HomeAndAuto.com. homeandauto.com check out our selection of over 400 new and used vehicles homeandauto.com every vehicle from all four of our locations in one convenient place find your perfect car without leaving home at homeandauto.com new vehicles from chrysler dodge jeep ram chevrolet buick and ford pre-owned from 3982 and certified pre-owned plus the warranties and hometown service you can depend on make the home and family your first stop at homeandauto.com we make you feel at home at home and Good evening and welcome to New Glarus High School. I've been to New Glarus a few times, so that was to go to visit the uh, the brewery, get some spotted <laughs> <Yeah>. cow. <laughs> Other than that, uh, this is my first time at the high school, which is kind of on the way up the hill to go to New Glarus Brewing Company. But uh, again, excited to be here tonight. A sectional championship in Division Three girls volleyball tonight is the Randolph Lady Rockets having to fight off Waterloo the other night and beating them three sets to one. And now they're going to be taking on a pretty good team with Broadhead, the Cardinals, in this match. And I have seen this team. I asked the coach for Broadhead, Aaron Kammerer. I asked her if uh, they had played in Wapan uh, maybe two years ago. It was during the COVID year. And they had kind of a weird little uh, thing that they had at the end of the season, not really a real state tournament, but they did play over at Wapan High School, won there, and then they come back over to Sutter, Wisconsin Christian and uh, play. And there was a, a girl I do remember from the team, Abby Dix, who's a senior this year. But yeah, she's got a volleyball scholarship all set up, and it was looking like Probably going to go play basketball. Well, that switched over the last two years since I've last seen her. So uh, I'm kind of excited to see how uh, she's playing right now. So I'm familiar a little bit with the uh, Broadhead team from about two years ago. Randolph knocking off Waterloo. Three sets to uh, one just uh, two days ago over at Horicon High School. And, you know, ready to play some volleyball here tonight against Broadhead. Now, I had an opportunity to talk to Jeff Sauer about his opponent tonight, the Cardinals of Broadhead. Definitely... Uh, has a view on it, and you'll be kind of interested to see how long he's been preparing to play Broadhead, but longer than the girls even know that they've been, pre been preparing to play against them, so uh, you'll, you'll enjoy his interview. That's coming your way in about three minutes as the Holman Auto Sales pregame show continues live from New Glarus High School on Radio Plus. Welcome to Terramax Territory. Create the seed bed with a high high quality finish, level soils and remove ruts, and eliminate resistant weeds, all with one innovative tool from Great Plains. The TerraMax is a versatile hybrid tillage solution offering variable intensity tillage for a variety of field conditions. Learn more about hybrid tillage and the new TerraMax at www.greatplainsag.com or by visiting Wapan Equipment Company, your local Great Plains dealer. This is TerraMax Territory, Wapan Equipment Company. Excellence in dentistry meets exceptional service. It's Dentistry of Wisconsin, Wapan, and Beaverdam. From routine cleanings, checkups, and maintenance to more advanced dental care and cosmetic services, choose Dentistry of Wisconsin. Doctors Metzgers, Truck and Broad, Dittman, and Warner, along with their friendly staff, are here to care for you. Visit their state of the art facilities in Wapan and Beaverdam, accepting new patients. Dentistry of Wisconsin, they'll give you a reason to smile both inside and out. homeandauto.com. Check out our selection of over 400 new and used vehicles. homeandauto.com. Every vehicle from all four of our locations in one convenient place. Find your perfect car without leaving home at homeandauto.com. New vehicles from Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevrolet, Buick, and Ford. Pre-owned from 3982 and certified pre-owned. Plus the warranties and hometown service you can depend on. Make the home and family your first stop at homeandauto.com. We make you feel at home at home and are you missing out on life? Does chronic joint pain prevent you from doing the things you love? I get it. All you think about is pain. This is Dr. Randy Blahoviak with New Medical Center. We have the solution to your problem. My name is Mary and I was treated at the New Medical Center for knee pain. I couldn't walk long distances, stand up from a chair easily, or do stairs well. Now I can do all of these things and walk two miles. Hi, my name is Linda. I was treated at the New Medical Center for pain in both of my knees, and it has made a huge difference. I couldn't walk up the stairs, I couldn't get up and down easily off the floor after playing with my grandkids, getting up off the couch at night was difficult. Now I can do all of that. Right now I have no pain in my knees. I would definitely recommend this procedure to anybody who has pain in their knees, and I would recommend that you do it sooner rather than later. Call New Medical Center for an alternative approach with innovative medicine at 920-249-8757. 
How do you make the most of your land? The Mosers do it with their John Deere Gator XUV 590M. That's how they cram a lot of the work in each day. And with a 900-pound payload capacity, they have the power to move on to what's next. We're always switching gears. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Nothing runs like a deer. Visit Balwick Implement, Highway 68 West Lapon, and Balwick Turf and Leisure North Spring Street Beaver Dam. And online at balwick.biz. Sounds like the wedding got done right now. File Supper Club. Welcome back to more of our home and auto sales pregame show. Steve Witterhack with you. And a chance right now to talk to the head coach of the Randolph Rockets, Jeff Colbeck. And Jeff, here you are. Big game. You've been to this point before. You got past this point yeah. in your past. But uh, it's, you know, you're a plain always a pretty good team by the time you get to this uh, moment. You, before it was Burlington Catholic Central. Tonight it's uh, Broadhead. The Cardinals bring a pretty good team to put on the court. What do you know about them? Yeah, they got a really good middle hitter, um, number 17, um, and their right side, number four, tall, powerful, strong hitter. Um, so those two we're going to have to contain, obviously. Um, we worked on some blocking schemes this week in practice. Um, we've actually been preparing for this team for a couple weeks. The girls didn't know that, but um, as coaches, we have been. So, um, But like I told the coaches today, our best defense is going to be our offense and our serving. So uh, that's got to keep them out of system. What I've noticed with you guys, and I saw your tournament in Randolph, and I know that you did really well, didn't lose a, a match over at Monona Grove against some bigger schools, that you guys seem to arise to the occasion when you play better teams. Yeah, definitely. The girls are really looking forward to this game, obviously. And um, yeah, they step up for those bigger games, and they don't, nothing really gets in their heads about it. Um, they're ready to play, and they're they're up to the task always. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We we played, um, and I'm not taking anything away from Broadhead, but we played better teams, uh, you know, the Kakanas, the Monona grows um sock prairie obviously you know and been able to play right with them and, and win a lot of those games so that that helps us in this game it gives us a little advantage there what's the biggest key you think to tonight to be successful against a pretty good broadhead team we got to be able to hit for a higher percentage of what we have been doing stay aggressive offensively and our serve has to be aggressive as well we have to keep them out of system we think we can do that if we do that um and keep them out of system they won't be able to get the ball to their middle and their right side as much um and they won't be able to run their offense as well so um that's got to be number one in our in our minds tonight well, Coach, it's going to be fun here. I was looking forward to this all day. I went to the wedding, and <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to get back there at a decent time at tonight with, a, with some good news to bring back over to Beaver Dam tonight. But uh, good luck in your match here to try to get to state. Thank you. I appreciate it. And Jeff Colbeck joining us here on the pregame show. We'll continue with more of that coming your way in just a few minutes as the Home and Auto Sales pregame show continues live from New Glarus High School on The Source. Dairyland Auto Center in Randolph is the place to bring your vehicle to keep it running its best. Owner Micah Voskill has been working at Dairyland for over 20 years. Their ASE certified mechanics can do everything from replacing your tires, brakes and battery, oil changes and simple maintenance to replacing your transmission. And they use quality Napa parts. Pamper your vehicle with a visit to Dairyland Auto Center in Randolph. They wish the Randolph Rockets good luck in today's game. Chad and Trisha Dinkle, owners of Otter's Inn Bar and Grill in downtown Randolph, wish the Randolph Rockets good luck in today's game. Otter's is the perfect place to take friends and family for a delicious meal. Their menu includes a great selection of appetizers, burgers, specialty sandwiches, and pizzas. And they have great daily specials, including their excellent Friday fish fry and juicy and tender prime rib on Saturdays. For an enjoyable dining experience, head to Otter's Inn Bar and Grill, 179 Stark Street in Randolph. Off. When's the last time you reviewed your Medicare or your health insurance benefits? Do you have a plan? A lot of people choose plans that don't fit their health care needs or budget. Don't make that mistake. We here at SIA Insurance work with many different companies and carriers to get you the best coverage at the best value. For more information, contact SIA Insurance at 999 West Main Street in Waupon. Call SIA Insurance at 324-2071 for free help. Randolph Family Dental understands families. Dr. Ross Werner and his daughters, Dr. Madeline Werner and Dr. Muriel Werner Dittman, are there to take care of all of your family's dental needs. They are committed to the highest level of care for their patients. And Randolph Family Dental is currently taking new patients. 
Call them at 920-326-3191. Randolph Family Dental is excited to announce they'll be moving to their brand new facility at 130 Progress Drive in Randolph in early 2023. Roberts Brothers Painting of Randolph is a proud supporter of Randolph Rockets Athletics. Family owned and operated since 1958, the Roberts Brothers have the skills, knowledge, and techniques to get your exterior paint job done right, no matter your painting needs. Roberts Brothers Painting uses the finest materials and equipment to guarantee a professional job that you'll be proud of. For more info, visit robertsbrotherspainting.com or give you or Paul the Roberts Brothers a call at 326-5103 or 326-6214 for all of your exterior painting needs. Randolph Health Services and Assisted Living has been serving the Beaver Dam, Marcusan, Wapan, Partyville, Ryle, Fall River, and Columbus area since 1972. They're located in the heart of downtown Randolph, a rural community which they're very active, sponsoring many events and benefits, including this game today. They're proud to support residents' continuum of care by offering both assisted living and skilled nursing care. Randolph Health Services and Assisted Living. Randolph. Final Supper Club has been serving up a great dining experience since 1969. They invite you, your family, and friends to join them for their excellent food and drink selections. Enjoy Files' perfectly aged, seasoned, and cooked prime rib each Thursday and Saturday and their Friday fish fry featuring tender and flaky cod. Don't forget Files' 15-foot salad bar with a wide variety of salads, vegetables, and crackers. Files Supper Club, waiting to serve you where they've been for over 50 years, south of Randolph on Highway 70. Welcome back to New Glarus High School and a little bit more about File Supper Club. Uh, had a couple excellent meals there as of late. My wife loves their German buffet. Then they've got the Oktoberfest Bavarian buffet. It's going on uh, today and tomorrow over at Files just uh, south of Randolph on Highway 73. Schnitzel, stuffed cabbage rolls. They've got goulash, potatoes, and pancakes. Just a few of the many great things they have on that. German buffet. My wife is in love with that stuff. But uh, again, their Oktoberfest Bavarian buffet going on yet today and tomorrow, and then next week Friday on the fifth, and that'll be it. But of course, they got that 15-foot salad bar there too. So, great place to go eat over at File Supper Club. Steve Waterhack with you. Jeff Sauer on the video streaming, and we are here ready to bring you a sectional championship here at New Glarus High School. A uh, pretty good crowd filling up the gym here, pretty decently inside uh, New Glarus High School. First time I was ever in here. It's just kind of high behind Culver's. That's a good landmark that they uh, have it right behind there. But uh, well, uh, I already stopped there and got myself a meal before because I had to leave. I had to leave a wedding. Now, Jolie, uh, uh, Jolie Warwick, who's now uh, Jolie uh, Moss, just got married earlier today. A 3:30 wedding, and uh, a couple of her cousins and her aunts and uncles are sitting in the crowd here. They couldn't, you know, had to leave and can't be at the wedding tonight. Uh, until later on, until toward the end of the dance, but they were all at the wedding and uh, ready to cheer on the, the Randolph Lady Rockets. And I think we've got some people probably over at Old Hickory that are uh, tuning in secretly down the hallways of Jolie's wedding <laughs> going on. Now, they warned her about a year ago when she came up with a state, hey, that's sectional championship day. And uh, she just kind of stuck with it. Now, here we are with about you know 21 to 25 people that would have been there, uh, not there till maybe later on tonight, hopefully. We'll have a, a happy contingent that come in and crash her wedding coming up later on at Old Hickory. Now let's take a look at uh, the Randolph Rockets and uh, how they fared just a couple days ago. Rockets coached by Jeff Kolbeck. They took down the Waterloo in uh, four sets. They, they won the first one. They had a nice lead at the start that one out. They are up 5-0, but Waterloo just kept on hanging around. Before you knew it, it was 23 apiece, and all of a sudden it's 25 apiece, and Randolph had a couple opportunities at set point and then Waterloo had two chances at set point Randolph had one more and then finally but their fourth chance to win the first set they uh, they finally got that point to go down and they won 30 to 28 and then they won convincingly in that second set uh, by a score of 25 to 8 then uh, Waterloo caught fire in that third set well Randolph had a lot of service errors which is kind of their bugaboo maybe passing and uh, serving. If they don't get those serves over, that's such a great offensive weapon for them. But they had a little trouble with their serves in that third set. They ended up losing 25-18. to 18. And then Randolph uh, went on a, a pretty nice run and just uh, never, never really threatened in that fourth set. And they won 25-17. to 17. Jory Bowalda lit it up with 47 assists. Also three aces in that match. Charisma Muth had 26 kills. 
four aces and 13 digs. Riley Elvin with the 11 kills. Uh, Josie Spores with eight kills uh, in that match. And like I said, uh, the Charisma Muth just, just a, a beast that night with those 26 kills and everywhere diving for balls. Uh, her serving, uh, getting four service aces. Just a monster night for Charisma Muth. Brandy Fuller also diving for balls in that libero position and she dug up a uh, nice 15 digs in that match for Randolph and a lot of them having to dive for him and still getting him right up the jury to set up to get the ball put away up at the net. So a good strong uh, effort by a lot of the Randolph Lady Rockets in that match, really a team effort. Taking a look at Broadhead, coached by Erin Kammerer. I remember talking to her a few years ago and she's got two daughters on this team that Randolph plays here today. The Alexis Kammerer, who is their main setter, and then they have also her freshman daughter, Gretchen Kammerer, that uh, plays out there too. So she's got a lot of uh, family stuff at stake in this match. And uh, they had a, let's see, uh, they ended up with, like, I got this on the other sheet over here, in their uh, match. But they knocked off Mineral Point, three to nothing, beating them 25-21, 25, or 26-24, and 25-15. And Abby Dix lit it up again like she normally does, their middle hitter. 17 kills for her on nine digs. Alexis Kammerer with 36 assists, and McKenna Young with nine digs. Had to look for that to get any kind of numbers that they didn't have it in their WIS Sports entry or max prep, so had to dig that one up. Well, I tell you, Randolph had a, a very good year in the Trailways East. They were perfect in the uh, West, I should say, and they were perfect in the conference. And uh, just about every player that gets on on a regular basis for the Randolph Lady Rockets got themselves uh, some kind of conference honor. Let's talk about that. We'll be doing a uh, little mention of uh, how they finished, including one of them being the player of the year. Take a guess who that is as we come back in about three minutes to bring you more of our Home and Auto Sales pregame show live from New Glarus High School on Radio Plus. Most of us plan ahead in life. We plan for our wedding, our children's education, family vacations, and other life events. Understanding the benefits of pre-planning your funeral has prompted many to take the step and plan for their own arrangements. The biggest reason is so your family is put at ease by knowing your decisions are taken care of. The burden is lifted off their shoulders. Call 324-5547 to discuss pre-planning your funeral arrangements. Coles Community Funeral Homes, Marcusan, Randolph, and Wapan. If you have any building or remodeling projects in your future, make sure to call Jeffrey Tajik at Ace in Building and Remodeling Randolph. Ace has been in business for over 20 years and builds new homes, offers complete interior and exterior remodeling and additions, single to multiple car garages, windows, decks and patios, seamless siding and seamless gutters. Ace stands for Achieving Carpentry Excellence. Let them work on your next project. You'll be glad you did. Give Ace in Building and Remodeling a call at 920-326-3624. A&B Fitness Concepts in Randolph is accepting new members. A&B Fitness is a workout facility dedicated to helping all of its members reach their fitness goals. They offer fitness classes with a personal feel, small group personal training, and one-on-one -on -one personal training, all in a non-intimidating environment in order to fit the needs of their members. Some of the Randolph athletes participating in today's game work out at a and Fitness Concepts in Randolph. a and Fitness. Give them a call at 920-763-5695. Did you know that Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake offers Casasa Rewards checking accounts? All Casasa Rewards accounts include refunds on ATM withdrawal fees. When you meet the monthly qualification criteria, there's no monthly maintenance fee and no minimum balance requirement. Best of all, you get rewarded for things you probably do anyway, such as using your debit card and setting up a direct deposit. Discover the benefits of opening a Casasa Rewards checking account at Ergo Bank of Marcuzan and Fox Lake. Marshview Veterinary Clinic is a proud supporter of the student-athletes of the Randolph Rockets. The team at Marshview is happily accepting new patients for wellness and surgery. We're also pleased to offer emergency and urgent care services for pets throughout the community. Dr. Jeff Hookstead, Dr. Jackie McIntyre, Dr. Colby McIntyre, and the friendly staff at Marshview look forward to seeing you and your four-legged companions. Go Rockets! The Randolph Booster Club would like to say congratulations, Randolph, on a great season. They'd like to wish the Rockets best of luck in today's playoff game. Since its inception, the Randolph Booster Club has raised more than $250,000 from organized events 
and donations from members, all which have made their way back to the community for youth athletics. The Randolph Booster Club. Good luck, Rockets, in your game today. Welcome back to New Glarus High School. Steve Witterhack with you again to bring you the play-by-play. -play. Jeff Sauer on the video streaming. And like I said, uh, Randolph uh, fared well, and they should have in the conference that they uh, swept everybody, and nobody really challenged them all in conference play. But uh, they had uh, numerous players that were recognized in the all-conference voting. First team and player of the year, Jory Bowalda. Softest hands I've seen for a setter. And I've seen a lot of great setters, but hers... <laughs> Just amazing how she, uh, with power, but so soft that it comes out of her hands. It's just amazing. She was player of the year, which she was two years ago in volleyball. And Riley Elvin and Brandy Fuller, very deserving, being first-team uh, all-conference players. Charisma Muth, definitely a, a good argument to be up there at, at first team, but maybe she didn't start right away in the beginning of the season. Might cost her that. Josie Spores, who's just been rock-solid, just a rock-solid player. Uh, this entire season, second team, and then honorable mention, Macy Kolbeck, Jeff's daughter, and Lauren Grigger, the other middle, hit, middle uh, hitter for the Randolph Rockets. So congratulations to those Lady Rockets that made the uh, all-conference list for the Trailways West. We are just about ready to start things out here, and I'm going to come back with the starting lineups in the beginning of tonight's sectional championship match. The winner goes on to the state tournament at 11.30 in the morning coming up next week Friday up at the Rest Center in Green Bay. A lot at stake in this match and I've been looking forward to it all. They didn't even sleep very good last night. We'll come back with the beginning of that and the starting lineups in just a few minutes as our presentation continues live from New Glarus High School here on Radio Plus. Randolph Services and assisted living has been serving the Beaver Dam, Marcus N, Wapan, Partyville, Ryle, Fall River, and Columbus area since 1972. They're located in the heart of downtown Randolph, a rural community which they're very active, sponsoring many events and benefits, including this game today. They're proud to support residents' continuum of care by offering both assisted living and skilled nursing care. Randolph Health Services and Assisted Living. Randolph. I've got. Roberts Brothers Painting of Randolph is a proud supporter of Randolph Rockets Athletics. Family owned and operated since 1958, the Roberts Brothers have the skills, knowledge, and techniques to get your exterior paint job done right, no matter your painting needs. Roberts Brothers Painting uses the finest materials and equipment to guarantee a professional job that you'll be proud of. For more info, visit robertsbrotherspainting.com or give Hugh or Paul the Roberts Brothers a call at 326-5103 or 326-6214 for all of your exterior painting need. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Wisconsin. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. HomeandAuto.com. Check out our selection of over 400 new and used vehicles. HomeandAuto.com. Every vehicle from all four of our locations in one convenient place. Find your perfect car without leaving home at HomeandAuto.com. New vehicles from Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevrolet, Buick, and Ford. Pre-owned from $39.82 and certified pre-owned. Plus the warranties and hometown service you can depend on. Make the home and family your first stop at HomeandAuto.com. We make you feel at home at Homan. Okay, Steve Winterhack with you back at New Glarus High School. We are just about ready to get the starting lineups mentioned on the court and then get ready to play a sectional championship in Division Three. Kind of looking at the bracketing just a, a little bit. Uh, they still have, out of the eight teams that are left, six of those teams are teams that are ranked in the top uh, ten in the state that are still in the, the running here. So uh, a few people dropped off. Along the way, Lake Country Lutheran just lost to Shoreland Lutheran, who was unranked. And Shoreland Lutheran playing the, against uh, Howard's Grove. They're the number one ranked team in the entire state for Division Three, And, of course, Randolph ranked number three, taking on number five, Broadhead. Uh, looking at the other uh, sectional, as number eight ranked Edgar taking on unranked Wittenberg Burnhamwood tonight. 
And number two ranked St. Croix Falls taking on number six Westby in that matchup. And looking at how these teams got here for the Randolph Rockets, they had to play that extra game, one more than Broadhead as far as matches, and they knocked off Lamira 25-8, 25-8, 25-5 to start out the uh, season in that postseason in the quarterfinals in uh, regional action. And they took on St. Mary Springs. They got a chance to see the last few sets of that one, and they knocked them off in three, three straight, 26 16, 25, 20, and 25, 16. And then they beat Laconia. Laconia gives them a little, a little bit of resistance there. Uh, Laconia took them to four, but Randolph winning 25, 21, 25, 21. At third set, they lost in that one too, 25, 18, 25, 20. And then Randolph won just two nights ago in the sectional semifinal, knocking off Waterloo 30 to 28, 25, 8, then lost the third set 25, 19, and won the Fourth set by a score of 25 to 17. Broadhead had the first, uh, that quarterfinal game off, but in the semifinals, they knocked off Fenimore, 25-10, 25-10, 25-21. Then they beat New Glarus, the girls right from the school here, and beat them 25-16, 25-17, 28-26. And then, of course, they got to this match by knocking off Mineral Point in uh, three straight sets, 25-21, 25-24, 25 15. And we are ready to play. Both teams wearing their white jerseys here tonight. Randolph's colors, of course, blue and white. And, of course, the Cardinals are always red. They're wearing their white jerseys with the red highlights. And the libero wearing a red shirt to signify that she is the libero. That's Jalen Hilliard. Randolph, the starters, of course, they're a quarterback of the team. And that is Dory Bowalda. Having herself a great season, went over 2,000 assists in her career, 815 assists this season alone, also 121 kills and 79 aces. Middle hitters are uh, Riley Elvin, a beast in the middle, 6'2", junior. Lauren Grigger, also a junior, 5'11", the other middle hitter. Outside hitter, Macy Kolbeck, 5'10". She is a junior, 145 kills on the season. We're underway. And ball's passed over on the left side. The block is up, and they put it back down on the swing by Cadence Bevers, the senior on that left side. But, of course, that big block up for the Randolph Lady Rockets. They put it back down. First point going to Randolph, leading one to nothing. Charisma Muth with another serve for the Lady Rockets. The low line Dreiner tape shot. And uh, this one's going to get pushed in the back corner. And I remember that got kind of hit it from Abby Dix, not really uh, striking it, but directing it to the back right corner. I think we'll see a, a lot of that kind of stuff from her. She gets a kill, likes to go deep. That's kind of what Jory Bowaldo likes to do too with that, uh, sometimes taking on the second hit, she'll do that way to the back corner shot. Set way over to uh, Riley Elvin, has to go for the left hand to put it over. Then it's gonna get pushed over, rolled over. Nice save by Bowaldo, pushed over again by uh, Riley Elvin. And then a shot over, oh, they keep it alive. Nice shot by Brandy Fuller taking the brunt of that hit. Going to set it in the middle again. The block is up. Stays on the Randolph side. Jory will go over, get it to Macy Colbeck. Taps it over the top of the block. Still alive now over in the Broadhead side. Cross court shot off the arms of Charisma Muth. And out of bounds. And that point going to the Cardinals. Could be a long night if you got to work that hard just to get a point. And back to serve uh, will be their setter, Alexis Kammerer. They're a floater to the back, Muth passes it over to Bawal, the left side over to Riley. Elvin passed the block, and that's gonna be a little bit long, but a touch. Yeah, we've got a touch call, so that went up the fingertips of the Cardinals, and a point for the Rockets. And we are tied at two apiece. And Randolph will be the, the visitors on the uh, scoreboard. Jory Bowalda back now to serve for the Lady Rockets. Good pass over to Cameron. We're going to back set over the right side. Tap over the top of the block by the long arms of Dix. Yeah, we're going to call a player in the net. Dix in the net, possibly. And, uh, this Randolph gets a point out of that one. 3-2 in favor of the Lady Rockets. Cameron chases it down off the side of the court. It's going to get pumped over. A free ball now. Here goes Riley Elvin with a hit, but it's gonna hit it wide right. We're tied at three apiece. Gonna say hi to my uh, broadcast buddy, Randy Armga, on the road, and uh, right now, 
we got Patty, I see in there, and Barb and Randy taking the picture, but they're watching from Murray Lake, South Carolina. So hope you're having fun. Hopefully it's a little bit warmer there. It's not bad here. A nice swing from the left side by Josie Spores. So I miss you guys. I hope you're having fun down there. Patty, show them a good time. If you want to check in, you just kind of minimize your screen and go to the chat and uh, maybe do that during one of the commercial breaks, but let us know you're out there, and we'll uh, let everybody else know that you're out there. Uh, Iffy shot there by Cameron, but they let that one go. Here goes Spores with a hard hit. That was uh, put up by Dix and overpassed and put back over by Grigger. Uh, back row attack again. That's going to be into the net. Down the shot by Abby Dix. And a point for the Randolph Lady Rockets, opening up a two point lead, 5 to 3. Well, there's some hard hitting going on here. Some of the balls that were saved after some hard hits, amazing. That's, that's real volleyball. Love watching that. Left side attack, and that's just tapped over the top of the block. And Bewalder, they're still pointing out. They're going to say it hit the ground. Yeah, Jory's got a many, many of those pancake saves during the season, but maybe just there a little bit too late. Not complaining about it. Of course, Jory never shows emotions either way, good or bad. Very stoic out there, and you got to like that in the player. Great leader out there, directing traffic right now. So it should be 5-4 or 4-3. Randolph earned that fifth point, but maybe not sure. I think the score is not quite right. And we got Randolph. Yeah, they've got the wrong score up there on the scoreboard. 5-4. I think I got that right now. So Randolph in the lead. And I think they went from leading by a couple of points to being down a point just in one volley. So here's the serve from the Cardinals. Good pass by Grigger. Going to go left side over to Spores. Block is up, and they put it back down. Good job over in that right side. The hands of Kirsten Fish up there. Kirsten gets the block. And we are tied at five apiece. This will be a battle here tonight. It's going to be a war between these two teams. Another serve for the Cardinals. Fuller with a good pass. Going to go right side over to... Uh, Riley Elvin, that's blocked, kept alive. We're going to go right side again on the swing by Fish. The diving attempt by Bewalda to keep it alive, but good swing from that right side again from Kirsten Fish, second leading player with kills on the team during the season. 6-5 the lead now back in the hands of the Cardinals. And it's going to be tight to the net. Bewalda does get to it and just tapped over by Spore. So a free ball for the Cardinals. Uh, tight to the net. And Fish is going to uh, help me get a Randolph player in the net. So a Randolph player in the net. And another point for Broadhead. And they've opened up a two-point lead, 7-5. to five. And ball's out of bounds on the uh, serve. Off the hands of Cadence Bevers. That will rotate Riley Elvin to the back row to serve now for the Lady Rockets. And, ooh, that one just missed by a few inches. And that is a point for the Cardinals. Back up by two, eight to six. And let's see if they can get things going here. They get that lead back and put some space between them and Broadhead. Randolph number three ranked team in the state and uh, Broadhead number five ranked team in the state. Ball set tight to the net on the left side. Muth just punches it over and popped up uh, and not controlled by a shot by Carly Baird. Had a shot off her hands off to the right and uh, nobody over there. And a point now for the Cardinals leading by three, nine to six. Another serve for Alexis Kammerer. Actually that was like Jalen Hilliard, but that's out of bounds deep. Yeah, great crowd, great student section from both sides, Randolph and Broadhead. Broadhead only about a 34-minute drive, according to what I uh, saw when I looked on uh, Google Maps. Set over on that left side, off the block, on the swing from uh, McKenna Young. And puts it away off the block, and a point for the Cardinals. 10-7 the lead now. For Broadhead. The Broadhead uh, Judah football team in the third level of football now. They'll be playing 
I think for Eric Desheen. Ooh, and that one's going to be just out of bounds. A couple of very close. It's not easy on those line judges. They've been making some tough calls with balls uh, just past the line. One serve from Randolph like that, now one from the Cardinals. But Randolph gets the point on the service there. Lauren Grigger with the serve. Not a great pass. Camera has to chase it down. Tapped over, though. Kept alive by Colbeck. And back over to the left side. It's going to get bumped over by the Randolph Lady Rockets and Baird. Back over to Macy Colbeck. Into the block. Rides along the net. Then popped back up. And then uh, saved by Camera and pushed over. Kept alive by Spores. And now it's going to get bumped over again by Baird. Don't want to have your back row players getting those third hits over. Three shot over that left side. Nobody there. Randolph blocking in the middle, nobody blocking over on that far left side of the Cardinals. And putting it away with nobody up. McKenna Young says, yeah, I'll take that. Don't hammer it down. Every front row player's dream if you're one of the hitters. Nobody goes up and blocks you. 11-8 now the lead for the Cardinals. And kind of off the tape. And they're going to get it over to Bualda. And again, just another free ball here for the Cardinals. Uh, a diving save attempt by Baird. On the swing in the middle by Abby Dix. And Randolph's going to take a timeout, trailing 12-8. to 8, And we'll be back in just 30 seconds of more Lady Rocket Volleyball on RP Sports. The power of intelligent farming is here. The remarkable new T7 Heavy Duty with PLM Intelligence is available now at Wapan Equipment in Wapan and Watertown. Built on the legacy of the acclaimed New Holland T7 Tractor family, the T7 Heavy Duty delivers leading all-around performance and comfort. You'll see wider, operate quieter, think smarter, and feel stronger. Two models are available, featuring up to 313 horsepower. Designed for you, by you, the new T7 Heavy Duty with PLM Intelligence lets you put intelligent farming to work right now. See one today at Wapan Equipment in Wapan. Pond and Water Town. Okay, we are back right now. The Cardinals uh, with all the momentum so far and leading by a score of 12 to 8. Here in set number one, a sectional championship at stake, a trip to the state tournament coming up next Friday morning at 1130 over at the Rush Center in Green Bay. Uh, ready to go again. Serving will be McKenna Young. Yeah, great going back and forth of the two student sections. Right now the Cardinals are a little bit more to cheer about. High off the arms of Fuller. Going to set it left side over to Colbeck off the tape. And a diving save attempt. Not in time by Jalen Hilliard. <clears throat> Give the point to the Lady Rockets. They are back within 3-12-9. Riley Elvin rotate, comes back in and uh, is in the front row, so that'll definitely help the Rockets. A pretty big uh, lineup up there to do some blocking and putting the ball away. Shot to the back, that's going to be overpassed. And uh, a pullback uh, made a bad choice there and was going to go up, it was a little too deep to go up and try to hit it right back down, so that's on her on uh, that shot. But uh, and then Fuller wasn't quite ready for it right behind her, so a point for the Cardinals. 13 9 now the lead. Or Broadhead, that one's going to float out of bounds about eight feet. Well, the Cardinals are giving us some opportunities on service errors. Randolph just has to take advantage of them. Hello to the 185 computers logged on. Hopefully we've got a nice crew of people watching and listening to the game here tonight. Not a great pass camera, chase to the back row, and then pushed way in the back corner, kept alive by Muth. And then Muth's going to hit it from behind the 10-foot line. It's popped right back over on the Randolph side. Fuller over to Bowal, the quick set over to Riley. Elvin off the block and out of bounds. Nice job by Elvin, just tooling off the block with a uh, pretty good player over there, Abby Dix on the other side of the net, but off her hands, out of bounds. And a point for Randolph, back within two, 13 to 11. Bowalda with the serve. Camera gets the pass, gonna back set over to the right side, that's off the block, kept alive, Fuller over to Bowalda. Gonna go back row over to Muth. And that's popped up in the rafters and uh, point for the Lady Rockets. I tell you, Charisma, the last couple matches that I've seen her play, and she's just, uh, wherever you, she gets it, behind the 10-foot line up on the net, putting the ball away, maybe even more effective on a regular basis from behind the 10-foot line. Hard to block that. Boy, a sketchy shot in that first hit, but ball is going to get passed by a fuller back over the right side, over to Spores, but too far out right. Josie tries to get it back in. Now, by the way... I'm going to say hi to Joyce Gore. That is Josie's great grandma. She's listening here tonight. So hello, Joyce Gore. 
Granddaughter's playing great. Love to watch her play volleyball. I'm glad you could join us here tonight. Right side attack by Kobeck. He is blocked and kept alive. Back set over on the right side, pushed deep. Good pass over to Bowal. They're going to quick set it over to uh, Riley Elvin. And looks like she's going to go to the right with it, but just switches it back over to the left. Perfectly placed ball by Elvin. And a point for the Rockets. Back within one point now, trailing 14 to 13. Fuller with the serve. Cameron gets the pass. Going to back set it over to the right side. Hard up the block. A nice right side hitter over there to go along with Abby Dix. You got Kirsten Fish, and she's had some nice swings here tonight so far. Gives their team uh, their 15th point, 15-13 uh, to 13 now the lead for the Cardinals. Cadence Bevers back to serve. 177 digs on the season lead. Uh, they're right up there with their team towards the lead on that category. Muth will just push it over from behind the 10-foot line. Camera gets it. A quick set up the middle. It's up in the rafters, and it's going to go over, and that is a point for the Cardinals. Nice try by Muth, but just caught his... Uh, Beams going across from end-to-end uh, -end on the court. They go there and kind of caught that as it went over the net. So a point for the Cardinals to back up by three, 16 to 13. Fuller with the pass. Gets over to Bowal, the far left side over to Spores. Hard hit. That goes off the arms of Dix and right by the uh, bleachers. They get it back in. Goes Bowalda. She'll take it now. Didn't quite get it where she normally gets it. Hit the net. Right side attack, cross court, and fish. Puts it away, and she's feeling it right now. Cross-court shot by Kirsten Fish. Back to a four-point lead for the Cardinals, up 17-13. to 13. Nice serve. That shanks off the side of the hands of Charisma Muth. And out of bounds right into the bench. Another timeout taken by Jeff Colbeck and the Randolph Lady Rockets. Trailing 18 to 13 back in 30 seconds with more Rocket Volleyball on RP Sports. Excellence in dentistry meets exceptional service. It's Dentistry of Wisconsin and Wapon and Beaver Dam. From routine cleanings, checkups, and maintenance to more advanced dental care and cosmetic services, choose Dentistry of Wisconsin. Doctors Metzgers, Truck and Broad, Dittman, and Warner, along with their friendly staff, are here to care for you. Visit their state of the art facilities in Wapon and Beaver Dam, accepting new patients. Dentistry of Wisconsin. They'll give you a reason to smile both inside and out. Okay, Randolph back on their heels just a little bit right now. All momentum going the Cardinals way. They didn't crawl back and got within a point, 14 to 13. But a nice run by the Cardinals. Got them a gap again. They've scored the last four points now and uh, are ahead 18 to 13 here in set number one. Could be a long night. At the end, someone's season is done. The other team will be heading out of the state tournament next Friday at the Rush Center. Great venue for the state tournament. Walde gets a good pass, and uh, but not a great set over to Riley Evans. Chased her off the court. She tried to bump it back over at an extreme angle, but just couldn't quite get that back over. And that's a point for the Cardinals. Now up by their biggest lead, 19 to 13. Cardinals continue to serve. Again, great serving from uh, Cadence Bevers. Just tearing up the back row uh, for the Randolph Lady Rockets, uh, having trouble getting a good pass over to Bowalda. 2013 in favor of the Cardinals here in set number one. Got to win three sets. They head on to the state tournament. Got to win by two. If you got to play a fifth in the side, or you only played a 15. And that one catches the back of the line, just died. Uh, I think Chris Mabuth maybe told her out, and I think just, they'll just dive like a breaking pitch from a pitcher, just go right on the back of that line. I would have said that was going to go out too, but that one uh, was a nice serve, just died at the right time. 21-13 now the lead for the Cardinals. And finally, uh, the serve in the net, which after you ran off like seven points in a row, coaches don't mind that if you keep going for it, you hit the net and don't go over, you get a service error if you got seven points from your serve. A lot of it because of the serve. Riley Elvin now with the serve for the Lady Rockets. She's just camera in the back row and down the line and popped up by Bewalda. Set over on the left side over to Muth and uh, they say that was blocked. Back over on the uh, Randolph side and they can't control it. 
And the Cardinals continue to roll now, leading 22 to 14. Top, we're up to over uh, 200 now. 208 computers logged on and joining us here tonight, so thanks for joining us. And in to serve now is Jalen Hilliard there at Libero. Back uh, Baird that does not control, chased off the court by Fuller, so a free ball for the Cardinals. Dix gets a close to hammer at the Chief. Everything turning to gold with whatever the Cardinals touch up there was way too tight to the net, kind of flicking it back over her head with her right hand. It was Alexis Kammerer, the coach's daughter, and finds some open court. Another point for the Cardinals now, two points away from a set one victory. Jalen Hilliard back to serve again. Good pass this time to Bowalda, back to the left side to Muth, and pounds that one down the line. If nothing else, something to build on, hopefully, to get into that second set. See if they can get a few more points here at the very least. And get some kind of flow going offensively. Yeah, the serve-receive has been tough with a really good serving by the Cardinals here tonight. Chelsea scores with the serve. That's tight to the net and tapped over. Nobody went up. I thought they'd go up on that second hit. They kind of let her just tap it over. And again, the same uh, result with Alex or Alexis Kammer just flicking it back over her head and set number one point for the Cardinals, leading 24 to 15. Bit of a floater, and that's going to go out of bounds and come by a couple feet. It's going to be a nice moment right here if the Rockets can maybe get a few points strung together, maybe three, four points if nothing else, and see if they can get some offense going, get back in their system. But you got to control those hard shots coming over from the Cardinals. Good pass over to Kammerer. Going to go a middle attack in. Hammering it down with authority is Abby Dix. And Randolph loses set number one, 25 to 16. See if Randolph can right the ship in the second set. Back with that in just two minutes on Radio Plus. Welcome to TerraMax territory. Create the ideal seed bed with a high quality finish. Level soils and remove ruts and eliminate resistant weeds. All with one innovative tool from Great Plains. The TerraMax is a versatile hybrid tillage solution offering variable intensity tillage for a variety of field conditions. Learn more about hybrid tillage and the new TerraMax at www.greatplainsag.com or by visiting Wapon Equipment Company, your local Great Plains dealer. This is TerraMax territory. Wapon Equipment Company. Excellence in dentistry meets exceptional service. It's Dentistry of Wisconsin, Wapon and Beaverdam. From routine cleanings, checkups, and maintenance to more advanced dental care and cosmetic services, choose Dentistry of Wisconsin. Doctors Metzgers, Truck and Broad, Zitman, and Warner, along with their friendly staff, are here to care for you. Visit their state of the art facilities in Wapon and Beaverdam, accepting new patients. Dentistry of Wisconsin, they'll give you a reason to smile both inside and out. HomeandAuto.com. Check out our selection of over 400 new and used vehicles. HomeandAuto.com. Every vehicle from all four of our locations in one convenient place. Find your perfect car without leaving home at HomeandAuto.com. New vehicles from Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevrolet, Buick, and Ford. Pre-owned from $39.82 and certified pre-owned. Plus the warranties and hometown service you can depend on. Make the home and family your first stop at HomeandAuto.com. We make you feel at home at Homeand. How do you make the most of your land? The Mosers do it with their John Deere Gator XUV 590M. That's how they cram a lot of the work in each day. And with a 900-pound payload capacity, they have the power to move on to what's next. We're always switching gears. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Nothing runs like a deer. Visit Ballwig Implement, Highway 68 West Lapon, and Ballwig Turf and Leisure North Spring Street Beaver Dam. And online at ballwig.biz. The Randolph Booster Club would like to say congratulations, Randolph, on a great season. They'd like to wish the Rockets best of luck in today's playoff game. Since its inception, the Randolph Booster Club has raised more than $250,000 from organized events and donations from members, all which have made their way back to the community for youth athletics. The Randolph Booster Club. Good luck, Rockets, in your game today. We are back at New Glarus High School. Steve Witterhack bringing you the play-by-play. -play. Jeff Sauer on the video screaming. A tough match for Randolph. Uh, really ran into a buzzsaw in that first set against the Cardinals of Broadhead. 
losing 25 to 16. Great serving really set up a lot of that. Just, uh, just some bullets over the net. Randolph had trouble with serve receiving. That kept you from running your system out there. And then a couple of girls up in the front just unstoppable at the uh, net. Uh, Kirsten Fish. Numerous hits on that right side. And uh, she really had her way with the Randolph block up. And also uh, their other big hitter, Abby Dix, had herself a great first set. Now Randolph just needs to uh, just take a deep breath now and get ready to... Can they serve that good the whole time? I don't know. We're going to find out. We'll be in trouble if they do. But hopefully Randolph will uh, get control of the volleyball here and then see if they can uh, take care of business against the Cardinals in the second set. Capable of it. They played some of the best teams. They did better against uh, some teams like uh, Sauk Prairie and they played them than what, the, uh, what Broadhead did in that. Their mat two matches against them. They only have four losses on the season. Good pass this time. Here goes Muth from the right side, and that is in. Okay, that's a start. Charisma Muth swinging from that right side and hammering it down for the kill. Randolph leads one to nothing. It all starts with that first point, and Randolph's got it. Thanks for joining us tonight. Only 213 computers logged on. Some of you people might even have had a wedding, I would guess, tonight. And that one is shanked off the arm of Cadence Bevers and out of bounds deep. So two points for Randolph right off the get-go. Leading now 2 to nothing in your new medical integrated healthcare scoreboard. We're bringing you the game from a great place. Kind of up in a little balcony area right at the center court. The opposite side of the up rep, which is important. Hammer gets the pass. Going to go uh, a push shot to the back. Kept alive by Spores. And uh, Colbeck with a swing just inside the 10-foot line. Goes out just a little bit out of bounds on the uh, far right corner. Okay, let's see if Randolph can get this uh, this stuff going here in the second set. They're leading two to one. Dix with a serve, little floater, passed over to Bewalda. Back row attack now from Muth, and it's popped up by Dix in the back row. Camera goes in for the second. It pushed over, extreme angle shot. Good job by Colbeck, and then Riley Elvin hammers one off the arm of McKenna Young and out of bounds. Three great hits. Nice pass there by Colbeck, getting it up to Bewalda, and then she puts it right up to her cousin just above the net. And Riley Alvin just banks it down to the right corner. And a point for Randolph leading now 3-1. to one. Bewalda with the serve. That's tight to the net for Camerer. A swing kept alive by Bewalda. And back over to Spores on the right side. Off the block. Back over the Randolph side. Fully goes to the back row. Now over to Muth cross court. And that's chased down off the court by Dixon. Then just bumped over a free ball now for the Lady Rockets. Tight to the net though. And they're going to call a lift. On uh, Jury Bowalda. And a perfect opportunity. It's a floater hit back over of a mishandled ball on the first hit. And that'll be a point for the Cardinals. They're back within a point now, 3 to 2. Can I get the word out there? Anybody else that might be uh, sitting home looking for something to do, twiddling their thumbs? Maybe don't, I don't know if the World Series is going on tonight or not, but I'll go get on the radio plus overpass ball. And that thing is uh, hit straight down by Addison Yates, their middle hitter. Addie Yates puts it down. Coach, as I can call her Addie. So uh, Coach Cameron said that. So. <laughs> so they don't all go by their uh, birth name. They uh, shortened up names. Fuller with a good pass over to Bowalda. Quick set over to Elvin. And just kind of hangs up in the air for a while. Everybody thought maybe back right corner, maybe straight. And she kind of cuts it back to her left a little bit. But a nice... Place ball, so she had options on that one, and Riley with another kill for the Lady Rockets. Leading now four to three down the line with that's gonna be tight. And uh, Cameron just uh, chicken wings it back up. Spores keeps it alive, and uh, Grigger has to step in last second. Nobody wanted to take over the volleyball. And then last second, uh, Lauren Grigger had to chase it down and just uh, miss hits it into the wall. And a point for the Cardinals. We're tied at four apiece. Jalen Hilliard back to serve now for the Cardinals. Randolph trailing now one set to nothing, losing the first set 25-16. That's going to miss by about a foot. Let's see if Randolph can take advantage of, uh, they did have quite a few service errors or Randolph was getting some of their points on that first set. Let's see if they can take advantage of that a little bit more here in this uh, second set. Riley Elvin with a serve. It's popped up near the Raptors. Cameron gets it going left side. Little cut shot. And uh, boy, that's 
Wasn't much really with that one uh, for McKenna Young to do, but she had an extreme cut shot, not more than a foot off the net from the, from the left side all the way to the right side. And just made it a difficult save attempt for Muth. And a point for the Cardinals. We're tied at five apiece. Addie Yates now with a serve for uh, Broadhead. Walda sets it far left side over to Muth into the block and on the floor. And obviously getting that one, Abby Dix gets the block kill. You notice in girls volleyball, uh, the ones that celebrate the most, you know that's the one that got their hand on it, put it down. And uh, Dix, a big time celebration after that one. Gives her team the lead back at six to five. Ooh, nice save uh, by Baird. Here goes Muth from right by the antenna on the left side and hammers it down. Nice job, kind of tight to the antenna over there, but she still had enough to put it through the middle back. And a point for the Rockets, we're tied at six apiece. Josie Spores with the serve. Good pass over to Kammerer, and a back set over the right side, cross court attempt, and that is put away. Looks like McKenna Young with that swing before she rotates to the back row. Some good production out of that right side of the lineup. Something they kind of do before you rotate to the back. You get that one swing over on that right side. Ball's popped up from Spores. Left side attack now from Muth. Taps it over the block. Diving save. And they're going to get it back over. Good pass over to Bowalda. Back over to Muth on the left side. Down the line. And you got a player in the net for the Cardinals. And a point for the Rockets. They've tied it up again at seven apiece. Thanks some of our sponsors, File Supper Club, who still has Oktoberfest going today, tomorrow, and next week, Saturday. Roberts Brothers Painting, big supporter of Randolph Rocket Sports. Cameron, a quick set, and uh, that's pushed right at Sports. She controls. He goes Muth off the block and popped in the air by Young. Back over in the left side, and a powering it through the block over there is Cadence Bevers. And they are a team you got to be playing your best. Going back and forth right now, these two teams, number three and five in the state, battling to try to get to the state tournament up at the Rush Center. Good pass by Spores. In the back center, right side over to Muth. And looking for a touch somewhere, no touch, and that is out of bounds deep. And a point for the Cardinals. They lead by two, nine to seven. Alexis Kammerer back to serve. A little floater. Popped up by Fuller. Backs out right side over to Muth down the line, and that is in. Nice shot, about uh, six inches away from the sideline and right to that back right corner. Nice swing by Charisma Muth. Has her team back within a point, trailing now 9-8. to eight. Muth back to serve. A little hard, low line driver. That's going to be tight to the net. Camera gets to it, just pushed over off the block, but back on the... Cardinal side, they'll bump it over, and that's going to go way out of bounds. And Randolph has tied things back up at nine apiece. Yeah, you heard the whole story with uh, Jolie, uh, Jolie Moss now, but uh, Jolie Warwick getting married today, former volleyball and three-sport athlete, great over at Randolph. Picking sectional championship day to uh, get married, so uh, her cousins are already playing volleyball right now with Riley Elvin and Jory Bowalda, and a lot of her aunts and uncles. Are there too, where some other people would have been at the wedding, but I think Jolie would have did the same thing if there was a wedding in the family uh, when she went back to the state back in about 2016. This one's going to be blasted out of bounds. We're tied at 10 apiece. That's where I was. I'm still I'm kind of overdressed for being here, I think. I got a nice dress shirt on and dress pants and nice shoes. Comfortable, though. Not a bad, uh, not a bad look. I guess if I'm going to be on camera at the end, hopefully, if anybody sticks around us, they're going to race back for the wedding. Off the block, Randolph controls, Drury gets it back over to Muth in the back row and takes a nice swing to give Randolph the lead back at 11-10. Both teams just hammering it out here in the second set with Randolph getting a lead finally back from the Cardinals up by one, 11-10. Drury Bowalda with another serve, barely clearing the net on that one. Cameron gets it, bumps to the back row, and just roll over, Fuller gets to it. In a back set right side over to Spores. Nice save, it back on the Randolph side. It's going to go right back and into the net on the swing by Kirsten Fish. And everything really turned to gold on whatever they touched in the first set. 
That one barely clear the net, and maybe Fish trying to do a little bit too much with Randolph gets the point and a two-point lead. That one is just out of bounds wide right. People not quite agreeing with that right in front of me. I couldn't, I couldn't see it all from this angle. It was close, there's no doubt about it. He's gonna call it in because it wasn't deep, but it might have been out of bounds a little to the side according to the official. Set over on the left side now to Spores off the block and on the floor. Nice sw swing there by Josie Spores. That ought to make Grandma Joyce happy. How do you like that, great grandma? Joyce Gore, one of our listeners here tonight. Josie's great grandma. Randolph back up by two now, 13 to 11. String a few more together. Take control of the second set. And another ball hit into the net. Off the swing of McKenna Young. Kind of a flat-footed shot. Roll try to just roll it over, but hit right into the middle of the net. Randolph opens up a three-point lead, 14 to 11. Brandy Fuller, one of their best servers, back to serve. This is the middle back with it popped up by Dix. Gets to the camera, right side attack by Fish. Popped up by Fuller. Back over to Spores on the left side. Rolls over the top of the block. Passed over to Camerer. There's a left side attack by Young, and that's going to be out of bounds. Looking for a touch somewhere. And uh, they're not going to get it. Randolph gets the point. Leads now 15 to 11. Timeout now by the Cardinals. Back in 30 seconds with more Lady Rocket Volleyball on Radio Plus. Most of us plan ahead in life. We plan for our wedding, our children's education, family vacations, and other life events. Understanding the benefits of pre-planning your funeral has prompted many to take the step and plan for their own arrangements. The biggest reason is so your family is put at ease by knowing your decisions are taken care of. The burden is lifted off their shoulders. Call 324-5547 to discuss pre-planning your funeral arrangements. Coles Community Funeral Homes, Marcus Ann, Randolph, and Wapon. Now the Cardinals having to take a timeout with Randolph opening up uh, their biggest lead they've had in the match, 15 to 11. And Randolph popping up some of the balls that they were getting to fall for the Cardinals and uh, not every one of their hits for the Cardinals like there was in the first set are going over uh, gold out there. So showing that they are human in this, uh, this second set with a couple of very good volleyball teams and some big time hitters on both sides battling. It's, and boy, I live to uh, call some volleyball matches over the years. See two teams like this going at it. Brandy Fuller with the serve. That one just stays in the back row camera. It's a chase it back. That's going to get bumped over by Fish. Rigger gets the ball over. A little quick set over to Elvin. And the connection not quite there. Not quite high enough for, I think, is what uh, Riley was saying to her cousin. And uh, that was blocked right by the net by the Cardinals. So they get a point after that timeout. 15-12 now the lead for Randolph. Jalen Hilliard back to serve for the Cardinals. Well, not a great pass, stays in the back and uh, chasing it was Bowalda bumped over by Grieger. And that's gonna get tapped over the second hit. Fuller steps in, gets it. Back row attack again, uh, that's not gonna make it over the net. On the swing by Muth, who's better off just swinging away back there. She's had a lot of success with it. Try to throw him off just a little bit. And a right side attack by Elba, but a nice save in the back row to keep it alive and bumped over. That's gonna be deep though after a nice save. I'd be a little angry if I was Cadence Bevers to take a blast off the hands of Riley Elvin and she pops it up, controls it, and then they uh, push it deep by about two feet too far deep. Hammer gets the pass back, sets it over the right side, off the block, kept alive. Spores goes over to Muth on the left side and pounds it down the line. Randolph gets another point, opening up a four point lead again, 17 to 13. Hey, Brian Yap, watching from Broadhead. Don't be offended if I'm a bit more uh, towards the, uh, the Randolph team that we're, we're, we're covering, but. I appreciate good volleyball being played by both teams. A good swing by their left side hitter, McKenna Young, off the block at a point for the Cardinals. So thanks for joining us, Brian. Get some more of the community if you want to join us for a great girls volleyball match. A couple of great teams going at it with a lot at stake. A trip to the Rest Center, which I've been to numerous times for volleyball. And uh, 
Going to be hit by a Spores cross court. That's going to dive in. Nice job. Uh, yeah, the Charisma Muth still trying to get some tape on her fingers. They just start serving. As the official said to serve. And uh, somehow they got over to Josie, and she made the most of it. Nice looping shot to the back left corner. Randolph with another point now, leading 18-14. to 14. Josie Spores back to serve. That's popped up in the rafters. Camera gets it. Back sets over the right side. Fully gets it over to Bawal. The far left side over to Muth into the block and down. Another point for the Lady Rockets opening up a five-point lead, 19-14. to 14. Momentum in the hands now of the Lady Rockets. Trying to tie this match up at one set apiece. Chelsea Spores with another serve for Randolph. Well, that's a little let uh, shot. And here comes a swing by Charisma Muth. Overpass ball. And Muth winning for it. Pounds it back to the right corner. And a point for Randolph. Another timeout for the Cardinals. And we will be back in just six, uh, 30 seconds for the six-point lead for the Randolph right after this on RP Sports. A&B Fitness Concepts in Randolph is accepting new members. A&B Fitness is a workout facility dedicated to helping all of its members reach their fitness goals. They offer fitness classes with a personal feel, small group personal training, and one-on-one -on -one personal training, all in a non-intimidating environment in order to fit the needs of their members. Some of the Randolph athletes participating in today's game work out at A&B Fitness Concepts in Randolph. A&B Fitness, give them a call at 920-763-5695. Now Randolph on a roll with a six-point lead, 20 to 14. Here in the second set, they lost the first set, 25-16. We've got a battle, a lot at stake, a trip to the state tournament. Katie Lechton watching from Amherst right now. So hello, Katie. Steve Winterhack with you here tonight, along with Jeff Sauer doing the video streaming. We're on Radio Plus. I'm going to tell anybody else, just log on to Radio Plus. Left side attack again for Muth. Down the line and on the line. A big swing to the left side for Charisma Muth. Starting to feel it right now. Randolph now just four points away from tying this thing up at one set apiece, leading 21 to 14. Another serve for Josie Spores on a roll right now in that service position for the Lady Rockets. That one is deep. Camera chased to the back row and a swing into the block and on the floor. Off the hands of Jory Bawalda. Lauren Grieger also up there. And their main kill leader, Abby Dix, gets stuffed on that one. And a point for the Rockets now, leading 22 to 14. Spores again serving. She'll ice her arm down after this one. So right side attack by Young cross court popped up by Brandy Fuller right over to Bewalda. Here goes Muth from the left side again down the line. Goes off the hands of Jalen Hilliard and out of bounds. And a point for Randolph, 23-14. On a roll right now. Hopefully that uh, continues for the rest of the match. Spores again with the serve. Young with a pass over to Kammerer. Going to go left side. That's just rolled over the top. Nice uh, shot there, taking a, a bunch of pace off the ball, just uh, kind of bringing it back across her body to the left side on the uh, shot by Abby Dick. Smart play by her to get the kill. And that's a point for the Cardinals. They're in trouble right now. 23-15. Randolph just two points away from a set two victory. Young with the serve. Good pass by Baird. Left side attack by Muth going down the line, and that's going to be out of bounds, but off the block and a point for the Lady Rockets, sitting at set number two point, up 24 to 15. Lauren Greger, great moments in uh, that sectional semifinal. A few good passes on the block so far in this match. Greger with the serve, and it's a hyper up too much. Lauren hits her a little wide left, but going for it, why not? When you're up by this match uh, in the set, and you're just sitting right at the doorstep, another match point for the Lady Rockets, 24-16 their lead. Fuller with a good pass over to Bowalda. Going to go right side over to Muth, taps over the block and it's popped over to Kammerer. Going to go right side over to Fish, controlled by Spores. Go right side over to Muth, down the line and in for Charisma Muth and your Randolph Lady Rockets. 
have won the second set, 25 to 17. We are tied at one set apiece, and we'll take a two minute break and bring you what should be an exciting third set. You don't want to lose that third set and be down just uh, one uh, set away from uh, ending your season. So we'll have that for you coming up in just two minutes on RP Sports. Most of us plan ahead in life. We plan for our wedding, our children's education, family vacations, and other life events. Understanding the benefits of pre-planning your funeral has prompted many to take the step and plan for their own arrangements. The biggest reason is so your family is put at ease by knowing your decisions are taken care of. The burden is lifted off their shoulders. Call 324-5547 to discuss pre-planning your funeral arrangements. Coles Community Funeral Homes, Marcusan, Randolph, and Wapon. If you have any building or remodeling projects in your future, make sure to call Jeff Ritajic at Ace in Building and Remodeling Randolph. Ace has been in business for over 20 years and builds new homes, offers complete interior and exterior remodeling and additions, single to multiple car garages, windows, decks and patios, seamless siding and seamless gutters. Ace stands for Achieving Carpentry Excellence. Let them work on your next project. You'll be glad you did. Give Ace in Building and Remodeling a call at 920-326-3624. A&B Fitness Concepts in Randolph is accepting new members. A&B Fitness is a workout facility dedicated to helping all of its members reach their fitness goals. They offer fitness classes with a personal feel, small group personal training, and one-on-one -on -one personal training, all in a non-intimidating environment in order to fit the needs of their members. Some of the Randolph athletes participating in today's game work out at a and Fitness Concepts in Randolph. a and Fitness. Give them a call at 920-763-5695. Did you know that Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake offers Casasa Rewards checking accounts? All Casasa Rewards accounts include refunds on ATM withdrawal fees. When you meet the monthly qualification criteria, there's no monthly maintenance fee and no minimum balance requirement. Best of all, you get rewarded for things you probably do anyway, such as using your debit card and setting up a direct deposit. Discover the benefits of opening a Casasa Rewards checking account at Ergo Bank of Marcusan and Fox Lake. Marshview Veterinary Clinic is a proud supporter of the student-athletes of the Randolph Rockets. The team at Marshview is happily accepting new patients for wellness and surgery. We're also pleased to offer emergency and urgent care services for pets throughout the community. Dr. Jeff Hookstead, Dr. Jackie McIntyre, Dr. Colby McIntyre, and the friendly staff at Marshview look forward to seeing you and your four-legged companions. Go Rockets! Oh, you got to love uh, girls' sports because you got built-in cheerleaders and they're having fun with a little Bon Jovi living on a prayer. You can tell you're the team that just won the last set because those are the ones that are singing. And the uh, girls from Broadhead discussing on how they can right the ship and get that momentum they had in the first set. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It's very pivotal when you get to the third set and it's all tied in one apiece. You definitely don't want to go down two sets to one. So see if Randolph can take uh, care of business here. Young with a pass over to Cameron. We're going to go uh, far left side down the line, and that's going to be out of bounds on the swing by Cadence Bevers. Randolph again for the uh, third straight set, getting that first point. And Charisma Muth back to serve for the Lady Rockets. Oh, and that was a nice serve. Young does pop it up. And then Dix just uh, gets it back on the Randolph side. And there's one into the, the net, and then uh, it's going to get pushed over by Kammerer. Fuller comes in to set back her over to Muth, and uh, that one catches the outside of the line. They say that was in. You know I would not want to be a line judge. That's, that's one job I would not want. I can be a radio announcer, a video stream announcer, and of course I got 265 uh, computers that tell me that I just blew a call because you can see it now before on radio. You only knew what I told you. <laughs> right or wrong. So this keeps me in check a little bit. It just gets tapped over. Riley Elvin uh, steps in to uh, field it and gets the set right back at her and powers it through the block of Abby Dix and puts it away for Randolph, opening up with a 3 nothing lead here in the third set. Charisma Muth back to serve for the Lady Rockets. And then we've got a rotation error on the Cardinals. You know, Coach Aaron Cameron uh, coming over, and they're kind of discussing where, where we ought to whack there, and that'll be a point for Randolph getting a freebie on a rotation error. 
And if you want to let us know you're out there, uh, feel free. If you just minimize your screen, you'll see the little chat button. Hit that, and we had a few people check in already. Jeff just gave some updates on what we've done so far here with the scores. Thanks for joining us here tonight. That one's going to float out of bounds wide left. There's my booth with the uh, serve and looking down at her. Brenna Heisinga, I think may her main uh, guru for the serving out there. And uh, what did I just do wrong on that one? Going to back set it back over to Muth into the net on the next shot and makes it now 4-2 in favor of the Lady Rockets. Yeah, we're in for the long haul here tonight. I was hoping a uh, three straight to set victory for the Randolph Lady Rockets. Get back to that wedding. So a lot of these players are going to be going to back in Beaverdam. Here goes Riley Elvin from the left side, but the block is up. Yeah, you get Dix up there and Fish. That's a pretty formidable block, kind of like when you have Riley and jo uh, Jory up there together. They're going to cause you some trouble. Bailey Mathis from Minnesota says, go Cards. Yeah, you're everybody's welcome tonight. This thing's in Minnesota. Oh, and there we go. We're pointing out for Randolph. Yeah, you're definitely welcome aboard to join us here tonight. This handled ball and a shot over to uh, the Cardinals. And Rockets get it and they still have that lead up 5-3. Bailey's got some relation, maybe some family or good friends on the team. Slide over on the right side and it's kept alive by Muth tight to the net. And Riley Elvin takes it over. Back over to Fish on that right side and pounds it right down the line. Running a pretty fast offense on that play by the Cardinals before Randolph could get that block up on that left side. Nice job by Cameron to spread the ball around and instead of going to Dix in the middle, it got Fish out on the right side. Dix back to serve now for Broadhead. Good pass by Booth. And a far uh, left side over to Josie. Spores off the arms of Abby Dixon out of bounds into the crowd. Josie Spores singing with a, or swinging with a authority here and with confidence tonight. As she has been most of the season. That one is shanked off. Camera chases it. And then uh, Fish gets it over. Kowalda is going to go back or over to Muth. And that's where the top of the block, but out of bounds deep. And that'll be a point for the Cardinals. Back within a point, 6 5 in favor of Randolph. Hello to Lindsay Herpel joining us tonight. Says hello to everyone in Randolph. And they say, You got this, ladies. Yeah, get in if you want to cheer on your team. Let us know out there. 274 computers logged on right now. And this is going to get popped out of bounds off the hands of Riley Elvin. We are tied now at six apiece. The Cardinals getting a little momentum and Randolph a little out of sync right now the last few points. We're tied at six apiece. Good pass. Over to Bowaldi, going to go left side over to Spores, hard into the block, and it just powers it right off the hands of the block and falls on the floor on the Cardinal side. Point for the Lady Rockets, back with the lead, 7-6. to six. Riley Elvin goes back to serve now for the Lady Rockets. Barely clears the net, Cameron gets the pass, going to go to Fish, to a little joust at the net, and that is won by Muth, and uh, also Lauren Grigger over there, but I think Muth is the one that got her hands on it, puts it away. And 8-6 the lead now for the Lady Rockets. Elvin with the serve to the back left corner. Set over to the left side, and uh, that goes off the block, but lands on the Randolph side on the swing by McKenna Young. Gets her team a point. Back to a one-point lead for Randolph. Elvin rotates out, and coming in for her to go across the back row is Carly Baird. Back to serve for the Cardinals is Jalen Hilliard. Hard low line driver, good pass by Baird. Go to the left side over to Muth down the line, and that's going to go up in this. Oh, say what a great job by the Cardinals to keep that alive. And uh, they're going to call a lift on Jory Bowalda. I don't know if she's asking for out there, but boy, what a save by the libero right in front of the crowd. Gets it back on uh, the court and put over by Addison Yates. Got a mishandled ball by the Lady Rockets. Getting the point to the Cardinals. I was going to make the other team hit one more hit. Even if it seems like it's not going to be effective. Here goes Muth and she pounced it. Cross court from the left side and Randolph 
gets that lead back right away, leading now nine to eight. Charisma moves with a big time swing from the left side. Here goes Josie Spore is back to serve now for the Lady Rockets. Pass over to Kammerer. Back to the net, and a Young with a roll shot. Nice pass by Baird, far left side again by Muth. And nobody getting over there in time. I think a nice set from the far side and not much above the net. Perfect uh, set there by Jose, uh, Jory Bowalda. Aaron Nyhaus. Hope I'm saying that right, Aaron. Cheering from Stevens Point, go Cardinals. And hi to Zoe. Set left side over to Young, over the top of the block, and out of bounds off a few of the Randolph players. And uh, Zoe Tessimer says go Cardinals. We've got to get a few more Randolph people to get in. You're getting outnumbered by the uh, Cardinals fans right now. 10-9 the lead for the Randolph Lady Rockets. And the scores uh, chased off the court is Bewalda. Nice hard spin shot and kept alive by their libero Hilliard. And Young was going to try to dump it over the net, back over his shoulder to the left. But hits it into the net. That's a point for the Rockets. Now leading by two, 11-9. We have got a war going on in the court right now with these two of the top five teams in the state battling here at New Glarus High School. Left side attack now by Dix. Off the hands of Baird, back over. That's going to be tight to the net. And Bowalda goes up, tight to the net again. And then we got a player in the net for the Cardinals. Again in the net. And a point for Randolph. It's nice to have that six-foot center out there. He can go up and battle up above the net. Which most teams don't have one that tall and that talented as he had with Jory Bowalda. Camera gets the pass going right side, cross court, and the shot by Young and puts it down. Randolph leading 12 to 10 on your new medical integrated healthcare scoreboard. Randolph Family Dental, one of our sponsors. Let their family take care of your family's dental needs. At Randolph Family Dental, had to have them aboard, supporting Randolph Athletics. That one could have been long. Bear chases away up to the uh, court and is out of bounds after that. Point for the Cardinals. They move back within one now, 12 to 11. Otters in. Chad and Trisha Dinkle, the owners over there, will give you a great meal. Bruce Anderson, go Cardinals from Beloit Turner. Where are you, Randolph people? Check in. Ball to chase of the back row, and it's going to get bumped over by Muth on the uh, third hit. Left side attack down the line and in. Cadence <laughs> Bevers with a kill. We are tied at 12 apiece. Back to serve again is McKenna Young. Three hundred at number three hundred uh, for computers logged in right now. The wall to chase off the court. Here goes uh, Colbeck from that left side, and it goes out of bounds by about two or three feet deep, and a point for the Cardinals. Thirteen twelve the lead now for the Cardinals. To serve again is Young. It's popped up and chased off the court by Baird, and it's going to get just bumped over. Free ball now for the Cardinals. Camera gets the pass. Going to go with the slide and uh, just barely getting her hand on it. The connection wasn't there for her to hammer it down, but a good job by Dix to get enough to get it over the net. Kind of throwing off uh, Macy Colbeck on that one. And that's the point for the Cardinals. Now they're up by two, 14 to 12. Debris on the court right now. Maybe something taped to the floor. Casey giving that to her dad, Jeff. Yeah, thanks for joining us, everybody. Dustin and Melinda Neiman. So let's go, Rockets. Keep on checking in, Randolph people. A contest between the two towns, and we can get more people to check in. That's going to be long on young serve. Randolph slides back with a point now. See if they can string some together right now with their best server back to serve. Charisma Muth. Yeah, hoping to get a chance to get up back up to the rush center where I got to call uh, all 11 of Wapan's state championship games. I've been doing this for a few years. That was back in 92. Oh, and the uh, ball just a uh, little floater to the back uh, corner, but Charisma Muth thought somebody else was going to go after it. 
And when I realized that wasn't happening, it got there too late. 15-13 the lead now for the Cardinals here in set number three. We're tied at one set apiece. Steve Waterhack along uh, with Jeff Sauer doing the video streaming. Taking care of the play-by-play. -play. Back row attack now by Muth cross court. Comes right back on the Randolph side. Fuller steps into seconds over to Colbeck. Roll shot over to Cameron. Young's going to go left side over to Fish. Got an angle shot and Fuller again back into set. Getting it over to Jory Bewalda. The center getting a swing, but that is controlled. And the block is up in the net. And they're going to get it back over. Push to the back row. Bewalda gets it, takes it over deep. And pop back up near the net. And a good job by Bewalda. Getting that back left corner. Good job by Addie Yates to get to it, but just couldn't pop it up to anybody else. And Randolph gets the point. Down by a point now, 15 to 14. Mackenzie McIntyre says go Cardinals. Set over on the right side over to Dix. Cross court, that's up in the rafters where it's going to come down, out of bounds. And into almost into the bleachers. And that is a point for the Cardinals. Back up by two, 16 to 14. You don't want to give the Cardinals any kind of lead right now if you're a Randolph uh, fan. You want to stop it right here and can't, don't want to dig yourself a hole this time of the match. Far left side with the swing by Spores. It's kept alive by Dixon. It does come over, but waiting for it. And in the net anyway are the Cardinals, but waiting for it he is big Riley Elvin. All six, two of her up there with that big wingspan. It takes it, directs it off to the right. And Randolph back within a point now. Randy Fuller, one of their best servers, back to serve for the Rockets. Camera getting it far left side, and then we've got a double contact. Kind of an awkward way to get kind of leaning over to her side and She's a nice server, Camera is, but sometimes you get put in some bad positions by your uh, passers. And we've tied it up now, 16 apiece. We have the Rockets. They go uh, over to the left side, just rolled over, and uh, Rieger goes up and taps. It just as uh, Jory Bewaldo is coming in to save it right behind her. And a point for the Cardinals back on top again, 17 to 16. Back to serve is Cadence Bevers. Fuller with a save. Bowalda goes to the back row. Here comes Muth with a hit. And that one lands in. What a nice shot with a ton of top spin from Charisma Muth from behind the 10-foot line. Maybe behind 15 feet away from the net. We are tied at 17 apiece. These two teams are just battling it out, duking it out here so far. Tied one set apiece and tied here in this third set. Overpass. And up to get it is Charisma Muth. An overpass and pounding it down is Muth to give Randolph the lead now, 18-17. I do get to that wedding later on tonight. I don't want to talk to me. My voice will be gone by that time. Riley Elvin with the serve. Good pass over to Kammerer. Left side attack by Young. The block is up back on the Cardinal side. Taking over in the second hit. Good pass by Riley Elvin. Left side attack now by Muth into the block. And then uh, goes either out of bounds or off one of the Randolph players. Far side of the court, that is a point for the Cardinals. They've tied it back up at 18 apiece. Ashley Fish said, let's go Cardinals, cheering you on from Exonia. Hilliard with the serve, that stays in the back row, chasing it down is Bowalda, and Fuller will uh, take it over. Nice job by Brandy Fuller, and mishandled in the back row by Bevers. Well, she put a lot of top spin on it and a little stink on the end of that one. Put some good speed on it. And that is a point for Randolph. Back up by a point, 19 to 18. Josie Spores back to serve for the Rockets. It's mishandled ball up in the rafters and uh, does come down finally and taken over. And uh, Randolph will get the field. A good pass over to Bowal. The back sets right side over. And that's going to catch the back of the line on the swing by Lauren Grigger gets the kill. And right in front of all of the Cardinals fans not agreeing with that one. Kimberly Caperi, how you doing out there? Go Rockets, they just went up by two, 20 to 18. Not making the Cardinals fans happy, but a nice uh, moment for the Randolph Rockets to go up by two. That one stays in the back, Earl Cameron chased in the back. Young gets it, rolls it in, Fuller tries to save. Nice shot there with really nothing there for uh, Young on that one. 
Kenny Young and uh, makes the most of it, gets the kill. And that is a point for the Cardinals. They're back within a point now, 2019 Rockets. Serving now is Addie Yates. That's pushed up, kind of mishit by Spores. And then it's going to get bumped over by Bewalda. Hammer, a quick little set of her to Dix. And set it up to her perfect, kind of let her up towards the net. Just barely above the net. And, of course, uh, Abby Dix knows what to do with it. And you put it there. It's hammers one down for a big point for the Cardinals. We are tied at 20 apiece. Spores pops it over to Bawal. They're going to go over to Muth. She's been over there. Diving save. And uh, again, blocked back over. And Bawalda takes it over. Hits it off the hands of Young and out of bounds. Great play at the net by Muth and then by Dory Bawalda to get the kill. Not just tapping it over, but hitting it with a little speed on that one to go off the player. And Randolph back up now, 21 to 20. Tamara gets the pass, far left side over to Dix. Rolls over top of the block, Rieger keeps it alive. Bawalda gets it, far left side over to Muth. And uh, that's the boy in the back row and a good pass over to Cameron. Back over to Young on the left side and goes down the line. And she puts it away. 21-21. What a third set here at New Glarus High School. Steve, what a heck with you. Hopefully you're getting into the game like I am. What a great volleyball match going on here at New Glarus. Young with the serve. Spores with a pass. Going to go over to a Muth. And gets it down to the back row, and that is a point for Randolph. Taking off right on top of the 10-foot line. I love when uh, you get Charisma Muth swinging from that 10-foot line. 21-22, I should say 22-21. Oh, I say the top score first. Muth back to serve. Little floater, and that thing just keeps on going out of bounds. Charisma's had a couple bad serves her last opportunities. We were tied at 22 apiece. And once she yanked wide left, and that one just kept on floating out of bounds. Alexis Kammerer back to serve for the Cardinals. Good pass over to Bowalda. Going to go right side over to Macy Colbeck, and that's uh, popped up by Spores. And uh, then a little roll shot by Colbeck. Going to go over to Fish on the right side, off the block, back, back over by Riley Elvin, and pushes it past the block. Again gets it up there, and we got a player in the net. We're going to say Riley Elvin in the net on that one. And a point now, a one-point lead for the Cardinals. A timeout taken by Jeff Colbeck. Back in 30 seconds of more Rocket Volleyball on Radio Plus. The Randolph Booster Club would like to say congratulations, Randolph, on a great season. They'd like to wish the Rockets best of luck in today's playoff game. Since its inception, the Randolph Booster Club has raised more than $250,000 from organized events and donations from members, all which have made their way back to the community for youth athletics. The Randolph Booster Club. Good luck, Rockets, in your game today. Okay, now Randolph back on their heels just a little bit, trailing by 1.23 to 22. Brian Freeby. Coach Brian Freeby out there saying go Lady Rockets with the three big flexes and some exclamation points at the end of that. See if Randall and Randall can buckle down, take advantage of that timeout that Coach Colbeck just took. Must point for them right now. Don't want to let them uh, get to a set point here in this third set. 23-22 in favor of the Cardinals. Had a win by two. First to 25 wins. Back to serve is Alexis Kammerer. It's pushed up by Brandy Fuller, not a great pass. Fuller will take it over and chunks one underneath the net. So that bad hit on that first hit uh, really cost you. And now it is set number three point for the Cardinals. Kammerer continues to serve. Fuller, good pass over to Bewalda. Back row attack now by Muth is out of bounds and Randolph. Gives up a bunch of points at the end. And now trail two sets to one after they lose the third set. 25-22, they lost the first set, 25-16, and the second set, 25-17. Now we are sitting with the Cardinals leading two sets to one here at New Glarus. 
Should be an exciting fourth set. Stick around back in two minutes on Radio Plus. Dairyland Auto Center in Randolph is the place to bring your vehicle to keep it running its best. Owner Micah Voskill has been working at Dairyland for over 20 years. Their ASE certified mechanics can do everything from replacing your tires, brakes and battery, oil changes and simple maintenance to replacing your transmission. And they use quality Napa parts. Pamper your vehicle with a visit to Dairyland Auto Center in Randolph. They wish the Randolph Rockets good luck in today's game. Chad and Trisha Dinkle, owners of Otter's Inn Bar and Grill in downtown Randolph, wish the Randolph Rockets good luck in today's game. Otter's is the perfect place to take friends and family for a delicious meal. Their menu includes a great selection of appetizers, burgers, specialty sandwiches, and pizzas. And they have great daily specials, including their excellent Friday fish fry and juicy and tender prime rib on Saturdays. For an enjoyable dining experience, head to Otter's Inn Bar and Grill, 179 Stark Street in Randolph. When's the last time you reviewed your Medicare or your health insurance benefits? Do you have a plan? A lot of people choose plans that don't fit their health care needs or budget. Don't make that mistake. We here at SIA Insurance work with many different companies and carriers to get you the best coverage at the best value. For more information, contact SIA Insurance at 999 West Main Street in Waupon. Call SIA Insurance at 324 2071 for free help. Randolph Family Dental understands families. Dr. Ross Werner and his daughters, Dr. Madeline Werner and Dr. Muriel Werner Dittman are there to take care of all of your family's dental needs. They are committed to the highest level of care for their patients. And Randolph Family Dental is currently taking new patients. Call them at 920-326-3191. Randolph Family Dental is excited to announce they'll be moving to their brand new facility at 130 Progress Drive in Randolph in early 2023. Roberts Brothers Painting of Randolph is a proud supporter of Randolph Rockets Athletics. Family owned and operated since 1958, the Roberts Brothers have the skills, knowledge, and techniques to get your exterior paint job done right. No matter your painting needs, Roberts Brothers Painting uses the finest materials and equipment to guarantee a professional job that you'll be proud of. For more info, visit robertsbrotherspainting.com or give you or Paul the Roberts Brothers a call at 326-5103 or 326-6214 for all of your exterior painting needs. Randolph. Randolph. And we are back here for the fourth set. Steve Witterhack with you giving you the play-by-play. -play. I am a Randolph announcer. Made that clear. This is not the national uh, sport, so we have all of our sponsors from uh, Randolph, and that's local radio people. Ball pass in front over to Bawalda. Back set right side over to Muth. And a nice shot again. Randolph for the fourth straight set. I've got the first point. Now, we love having all of you along, again, even the Cards fans out there. Chuck Deary tuning in from Indianapolis. Finished strong, Cards. And we love you too, Gary. Gary Keller. Team we've been covering all season long, the Randolph Lady Rockets, but we always invite the other team to tune in to and watch the game. Got Jeff Sauer here doing the video streaming. The bad pass camera checks it, uh, chases it off the court. Muth gets it up front over to Bawalda. Quick set over to uh, Riley Elvin. And we have got Dix in the net for the Cardinals. And that is a point for the Randolph Rockets. And Abby kind of reach over and uh, get that block off from the uh, hit of Riley Elvin. 2-0 now in favor of Randolph and a serve in the net for Muth. Back to serve now is Alexis Kammerer. And I always, uh, I always congratulate a good hit. I'm a big volleyball fan, played it a lot of years, watched a lot of state championships and called them. Always appreciate a good volleyball player and good hit out there. Shot into the net now from Charisma Muth. Kammerer back to serve again uh, for the Cardinals. Little floater. Fuller gets that over to uh, Bowalda and he gets that over to Riley Elvin and she pounds one down to the right. By that right sideline, about 15 feet off the net. Big time swing and a perfectly set ball by Bowalda. Rotates in the back row now for the Lady Rockets. 3 2 the lead, Randolph. Bowalda with a serve. Dix gets the uh, pass and is going to bump it over in the third hit. Booth getting the ball up front. 
A quick set again to Elva, but a little too tight to the net and the long outstretched arms and fingertips of Abby Dix and she puts it down for the block kill. Can't get too close to Abby up there. She'll put it back down on you. Serve receive over to Muth. And then back over to Muth in the back row. Catches the net, but a good pop up by Young. Back set on the right side by Fish off the block and push back over in the Randolph side. The wall, the quick set over to uh, Elvin and that goes off the hands of Cameron up there, kind of went down and did the kind of a limbo move. He went back, but that'll be a point for the Randolph Rockets leading now four to three. Brandy Fuller back to serve for Randolph. And a bad pass is pushed deep, Booth gets it. And we've got a player under the net. Uh, looks like the legs of Addie, uh, of, um, Addie Yates uh, went underneath of the net a little bit. Point for Randolph. Back up by two, five to three. Oh, that thing just dies. What a knuckleball. Any pitcher would love to have that kind of pitch in there. They didn't move at all. He just died before he got to Jalen Hilliard. Did the best to try to dive forward to get it, but a point for the Lady Rockets. And that one again is mishandled. Nice serving by Brandy Fuller. Getting some points off of her serve the last two points. 7-3 Randolph. Sarah Alsom says keep swinging Rockets from the Alsoms. Another little floater. That one is pushed up close to the net. Uh, fish from the right side off the block. Popped up by Bowalda. Fuller passes it right side over to Grigger to the back and uh, that's going to go off the basketball hoop and Cammer regains it and uh, back over on the Randolph side. Set over on the left side by Spores is dug out by Dix. Left side attack. And that's going to be out of bounds and it's going to be a touch on the Randolph Lady Rockets. The line judge, anybody else saw it, except for the, uh, the, the referee in the back. But she said that was a touch. Well, maybe that hit the net. I'm going to say it's off a touch and out of bounds deep. I might not want to watch a replay on that, but I don't know. I, I would not want to have to call that. If you watch some of the Big Ten matches, they'll show a slow motion of where they can challenge. And some of those, you just barely can see a finger get flicked back. Here goes Spores from that left side, kept alive by the Cardinals. Here goes Fish into the block, pops it back up over on the Cardinals side. Cameron, left side over to Young. Little roll shot, kept alive by Bowalda. Here Spores again, cuts it, and again off the block and kept alive. Cameron back sets it right side to Fish. And then it goes off the net and on the floor on the Randolph side. And 7-5 the score in favor of Randolph. 324 computers logged on. Thanks everybody for joining us here tonight. Here goes Elvin from the uh, right side and then we have got the ball after the block hits the antenna which is out of bounds. Point for the Lady Rockets. Back to serve now is Riley Elvin. 8-5 the lead now for Randolph. Down two sets to one, a must win for them. Sets it over the left side to Young, and that's a nice job by Bowalda to keep it alive. Fuller passes over to Muth on the left side, off the block, and on the floor. Point for the Lady Rockets, leading now 9-5. to five. Riley Elvin back to serve now for Randolph. Ooh, a little a nasty, nasty little serve. Going from right to left, and I believe that was moving from right to left. The sides not spinning at all. Just dropped and cut off to the left. Swing and a miss by the Cardinals, and a 10-5 lead uh, for the Rockets. See if they can keep pulling away in this fourth set. Got a mishit ball. Fish chases it off the court, rolled over. It's popped over. Bowalda chases it down. Going to go over to Muth on that left side. Cross-court shot back in the Randolph side. Close to the net on this one. Bowalda will take it way in the back corner. Chase down Cameron gets a good pass. Fish puts it into the block. And then off her hands and out of bounds. Muth up on the block. Grigger up there too. And a point for the Rockets now opening up a six-point lead, 11-5. to five. Got anywhere to go, Jeff? Are we going to maybe go to a fifth? <laughs> I hope we go to five. <laughs> this is really great volleyball. Great volleyball. Yeah, this is uh, tight to the net and waiting for his booth, but it's kept alive. 
Back set on the right side over to Spores, puts it down the line on the right side. Josie Spores with a big time swing and a timeout taken by the Cardinals. Randolph leading 12 to 5. Back in 30 seconds with more Rocket Volleyball on Radio Plus. File Supper Club has been serving up a great dining experience since 1969. They invite you, your family, and friends to join them for their excellent food and drink selections. Enjoy File's perfectly aged seasoned and cooked prime rib each Thursday and Saturday and their Friday fish fry featuring tender and flaky cod. Don't forget File's 15-foot salad bar with a wide variety of salads, vegetables, and crackers. File Supper Club, waiting to serve you where they've been for over 50 years. South of Randolph on Highway 70 the, the, both cheering sections now on their feet and everybody's getting into it here at New Glarus High School. So am I. My voice will be gone after this. Glad I got a day off tomorrow. But Randolph leading a 12 to 5, trying to tie this thing up at two sets apiece here in the fourth set. And Riley Elvin continues to serve now for the Rockets. Little floater to the back row. Camera goes right side over to Fish into the block and on the floor off the block of Muth. Charisma Muth with a block kill. Hey Sonia, how you doing out there? The Schmidt family is uh, tuned in. Let's go Rockets. Sonia Schmidt from uh, Quaid Realty. The daughter also a past Randolph volleyball player. A very good one too. Back in that libero position. Right side attack by Spores. Pass it back up off the block. To go far left side now to move down the corner and puts it in. Everything working right now for the Randolph Lady Rockets. Hey, Penny. Penny Hefley also watching right now and cheering on the Rockets. Says, go Rockets. Riley Elvin with the serve. Randolph up by 9, 14 to 5. Camera with a back set sort of fish on the right side and pretty effective. She was really effective in that first set. His hammers and tools are right off the block on that right side, and she'll rotate out now. But a nice swing from the right side by Kirsten Fish. 14-6 the lead now for the Lady Rockets. Still some work to do here in this fourth set. The fourth, hopefully, that fifth set and decider. Hilliard with the serve. Baird with a good pass. Left side over to Muth. Down the line and in. Muth on the fire. Where's that song? This girl is on fire. She is right now. Just pop it up there. Charisma's putting away behind the 10-foot line at the net. Impressive swings by Charisma Muth, putting Randolph up 15-6. to Josie Spohr is back to serve. And uh, that one's going to be pulled just a little bit left. Again, Randolph still with a pretty good lead right now. Just got to... See if you can keep that momentum going into that fifth and decider if you can get there. 15-7 now the lead for Randolph. Serve now for Yates. It's popped up by uh, Spores off the court to get it. Is Bewalda and Muth into the block and everything. Turning the gold off the hits of Charisma Muth. Lindsey Herpel says, let's go Riley. Rockets on. Fire. Lauren Grigger with the serve, 16-7 the lead. Here goes Dixon left side, a nice save attempt by Baird in the back row, hits it into the net. Looking someone can maybe pop it back up even with their foot, but couldn't do it. Point for the Cardinals, Randolph leading, 16-8. Back to serve is McKenna Young. Nice job by Fuller getting it to Bowal, the far left side over to uh, Macy Colbeck. And then we what they're uh, calling a, a someone in the net, I guess, for the Cardinals. Fortuitous 34. 34. Uh, 34. I thought that's what he's showing. <laughs> okay. 17 to 8, the lead now for the Lady Rockets. Charisma Muth back with the serve. That one is shanked off the hands of Young and out of bounds. Everything going Randolph's way right now, leading 18 to 8. Jessica Kratinger getting in and trying to spur on her cards, say, let's go Lady Cards. They're in trouble right now. Randolph opening up a 10-point lead, 18 to 8. Charisma Muth back to serve for the Rockets. 
the back row. That's popped up tight to the net. The camera takes it over the second. Hit free ball now for Randolph. Back over to uh, Colbeck on the left side. Catches the net and down the line. Macy Colbeck with a kill. And enjoying that swing. And another timeout taken by the Cards. Down by 11. Back in 30 seconds of more Randolph Lady Rocket Volleyball on Radio Plus. Randolph Health Services and Assisted Living has been serving the Beaver Dam, Marcus Inn, Wapan, Partyville, Ryle, Fall River, and Columbus area since 1972. They're located in the heart of downtown Randolph, a rural community which they're very active, sponsoring many events and benefits, including this game today. They're proud to support residents' continuum of care by offering both assisted living and skilled nursing care. Randolph Health Services and Assisted Living. Randolph. Wow, I tell you, what a volleyball match. You know, I want to get over by Jolie Moss's wedding, uh, but uh, it has to do many of these girls, but we got a battle of the finish right here. Up 19 to 8, and uh, Cruz Mamut still serving, thanks to uh, her other sponsors like Dairyland Auto. Micah Boskill over there, always sponsoring uh, sports. We have definitely appreciated the girls, appreciated too, and the football team. Over at Randolph. And a mishandled ball in the back row. What a nice serve by Muth. Little uh, movement on that from right to left on that serve for the ace. 28. 20 to 8 now in favor of the Lady Rockets. And Coach Cammer is going to bring in another uh, player as they're kind of picking on uh, number 12 right now on uh, Addison Yates. And they're going to bring in Alicia Dahl, Allie Dahl. Booth with another serve. 20 to 8 now in favor of Randolph. He kind of dives and it's going to be overpassed. Riley Elvin up there, but good job by Cameron to kind of get her hands up there and take the brunt of that ball that Riley was trying to put down and uh, gets, somehow gets it back on the Randolph side, gets the point. Back to serve now is Alexis Cameron. Little floater. Fuller gets the ball. Uh, Bewaldus to chase it. And Spores will take it and put it back in. Tyson in tight to the net and gets it up to Dixon. She pounds one down. And you don't get the good pass over on the Randolph side and give them a free ball. A team like Broadhead, they're going to make you pay, and they did. Quick set up to Abby Dixon. She pounds it down. Nice set there by Alexis Cameron. That one barely clears it up, but a good job by Muth to get to it. Now the back row, uh, Fuller's going to take it over. Another free ball tight to the net again. And uh, saved by Bowal, a nice diving save. Has to get back up and bump it over, but can't quite get control of the ball. Going to go back to the right side, and another one off the block on the swing by Kirsten Fish. Randolph still in control, but Cardinals trying to come back if nothing else gets some momentum here to go in that fifth set. We'll see. Not over yet. 20 to 11 in favor of Randolph. Hammer with the serve. Pass over to Bowalda. Takes it over on the second hit, but that's kept alive. And a quick set again to Dix. And again, another great connection. Bowalda trying to take it over on that second hit, but made Randolph pay. Brian Yap says, go Cadence Bevers. Called her name a few times. Number 18 on the cards. Nicholas Weinberger said, let's go Rockets. Finish strong. Fuller with the... Uh, and they keep it alive, and then it's pounded out of bounds by Charisma Muth and Randolph. Losing all their momentum, and now a timeout taken. Still up by 7, 20 to 13. Timeout by the Rockets back in 30 seconds with more Rocket Volleyball on Radio Plus. Marshview Veterinary Clinic is a proud supporter of the student-athletes of the Randolph Rockets. The team at Marshview is happily accepting new patients for wellness and surgery. We're also pleased to offer emergency and urgent care services for pets throughout the community. Dr. Jeff Hookstead, Dr. Jackie McIntyre, Dr. Colby McIntyre, and the friendly staff at Marshview look forward to seeing you and your four-legged companions. Go Rockets! Okay, we are back. Jeff Kolbeck having to take a timeout that he wished he didn't have to take. Some points put together by the uh, Cardinals. A broadhead trying to get some momentum and maybe get back in this uh, fourth, third, fourth set, I should say. Randolph trailing two sets to one. PJ. Well, the scoreboard kind of screwed up. It says 20 to one, but I believe it's 20 to 13. Cameron with the serve, and that's going to go out of bounds. 
Much needed point there by the Rockets and a service there by Alexis Kammerer. 21-13 the lead now for Randolph, trying to force that fifth and decider. Not sure what they're uh, going for here. Ball was definitely out of bounds. The scoreboard operators are struggling a little oh, bit. There. Yeah, it's 21-13 uh, from uh, if the score has, unless the score was wrong all the time. Here we go, 21-13, which upsets a very uh, intense crowd from Randolph. Four points away from uh, hopefully a fifth and decider. Going to go on the slide on the right side, and it's blocked back over. And it's saved. Nice uh, diving save by Bevers off the block, and Fuller steps in. Going to go over to the left side over to Joyce. He spores. Diving save by Cameron. Back over to the right side to Dix. Over the top of the block, another diving save. Nice job by uh, Muth in the back row. Going to get it tight to the net on the left side over to Bevers off the block and out of bounds. Point for the Cardinals. Back within seven, 21 14. Gary Keller says, Let's go, cards. And McKenna Young. Macy uh, Colbeck's going to get taken out. Coming in for her will be Savannah Duckett. Haven't seen her uh, tonight yet. And she's been a very good player throughout the season. I can see more of her on the court. Dix with the serve. Little floater barely over the net, controlled. Riley Elvin takes it all over, and yes, it's a point for the Randolph Rockets. Nice job. Just putting enough on there, throwing off the cards enough. Randolph just having trouble really getting control to get that nice swing to just pound some balls down. Got Spores and Elvin along with Grieger in the front row right now for the Lady Rockets. Muth in the back row, always a weapon back there. Set over on the left side, and that is pounded down the line on the swing by Eddie Yates. Point for the Cardinals. Randolph just three points away from forcing a fifth and a cider. Back to serve is uh, Caden Sabevers back to serve now for the Cardinals. That's going to go out of bounds uh, about uh, six inches deep. And a point for Randolph taking advantage of a couple service errors. Right at the right time for them. They're within two now, 23-15. Still an eight-point lead. Even though really kind of the momentum going in the Cardinals' favor right now. Serve for Riley Elvin. Diving save. Camera gets it. That's just uh, bumped over good. Diving save by Bewalda. Left side over to Muth. Cross court, but he's going to miss about two or three feet deep. Point for the Cardinals. Still hanging in there. Yeah, 23-16. 360 computers logged on here tonight. Everybody watching and witnessing a great match, including an almost packed house here at New Glarus High School. Steve Winterhack with you. Good pass that time, and they're going to run both on the left side, down the line, and it's out of bounds. Pulls it just a little bit. Jeff Colbeck may be looking for a touch somewhere, but just uh, maybe an inch or two off. Wide left in that shot by Charisma. Jalen Hilliard back to serve now for the Cardinals. That's going to get popped over, overpassed on the first hit. And uh, they're going to get over to Young. Goes to the back row. But Walder's going to get the left side over to Moth. Pounds it right off the, uh, the head of McKenna Young and out of bounds. And a point for the Rockets now. Set point for Randolph. Come on, everybody. Even if you're at the wedding right now, cheer on your Randolph Rockets. Trying to make this thing go to five. 24-17 serving now for the fourth set is Josie Spores. It's going to be tight to the net for Kammerer. And a little jealous up there. And Tori Bawalda waiting for it. Pounds it down. And Randolph wins 25-18. And a force a fifth and deciders. Fasten your seat belts, everybody. We're doing five here at New Glarus High School. We'll take a two-minute break, see if I can get my voice back just a little bit. And thanks for joining us tonight here on Radio Plus. Stick around. Are you missing out on life? Does chronic joint pain prevent you from doing the things you love? I get it. All you think about is pain. This is Dr. Randy Blahoviak with New Medical Center. We have the solution to your problem. My name is Mary, and I was treated at the New Medical Center for knee pain. I couldn't walk long distances, stand up from a chair easily, or do stairs well. Now I can do all of these things and walk 
two miles. Hi, my name is Linda. I was treated at the new medical center for pain in both of my knees, and it has made a huge difference. I couldn't walk up the stairs. I couldn't get up and down easily off the floor after playing with my grandkids. Getting up off the couch at night was difficult. Now I can do all of that. Right now I have no pain in my knees. I would definitely recommend this procedure to anybody who has pain in their knees, and I would recommend that you do it sooner rather than later. Call New Medical Center for an alternative approach with innovative medicine at 920-249-8757. How do you make the most of your land? The Mosers do it with their John Deere Gator XUV 590M. That's how they cram a lot of the work in each day. And with a 900 pound payload capacity, they have the power to move on to what's next. We're always switching gears. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Nothing runs like a deer. Visit Ballwig Implement, Highway 68 West Lapon, and Ballwig Turf and Leisure North Spring Street Beaver Dam, and online at ballwig.biz. I've got a math question for you. When you add tolerance, subtract prejudice, and multiply efforts to treat one another with respect, what do you get? Less division. And school sports have it down to a science. Looking for an example of what can happen when we realize there's more that unites us than divides us? Look no further than high school sports in Wisconsin. This message presented by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and the Wisconsin Athletic Directors Association. If you have any building or remodeling projects in your future, make sure to call Jeff Ritajic at Ace in Building and Remodeling Randolph. Ace has been in business for over 20 years and builds new homes, offers complete interior and exterior remodeling and additions, single to multiple car garages, windows, decks and patios, seamless siding and seamless gutters. Ace stands for Achieving Carpentry Excellence. Let them work on your next project. You'll be glad you did. Give Ace in Building and Remodeling a call at 920-326-3624. Everybody on their feet here and uh, both sides cheering on their teams. What a great performance by both teams. Can't say enough about what I've seen on both sides of the net. And Randolph losing the uh, first set 25-16, winning the second one 25-17. Close one that uh, Cardinals got the last four points to win the third set 25-22. Then Randolph wins the fourth set 25-18. to And we are going to a fifth and decider. Here we go, people. Don't go anywhere now. Steve Wooderhack here again giving you the play-by-play. -play. Jeff Sauer doing the video streaming, and we are set to bring you the fifth and decider. The winner goes on to state, and the loser with a very disappointing, hard-fought battle and loss will be done for the season. Randolph will serve first with Lauren Grigger back to serve for Randolph. Thank you. I think we're up to 360 at one time for computers logged on. 342 right now. Lauren served to get things going here in the fifth and decider. Camera gets that up to Dix off the block. Baird keeps it alive. Chased down by Bewalda and bumped over by uh, Baird or Kolbeck, one of the two. A little quick set in the middle. That's pushed and uh, kept alive by Spores. Here goes Muth from the left side. And that's going to be uh, out of bounds. <coughs> And uh, looking to see if anybody touched it at all. And he said, no, uh, they said no. And a point to the Cardinals. Okay, emotions are high as we go into this fifth set. Randolph, for the first time, giving up the first point. Can't really dig yourself a hole at all when you get to this fifth set. Can't get down by four or five points. So you're only playing to 15. Still got to win by two. Fuller uh, with the uh, overpass tapped over. And then Bowalda goes up with the block. Hill. Nice job. Turning something that looked bad for Randolph into a positive, and Jory finishes with a block kill. To give Randolph a point, we are tied at one apiece. Charisma Muth back to serve now for the Rockets. Hard low line driver, Camber pops it up. He goes, uh, big shot by Dix, but into the block of Riley Alvin and Macy Colbeck. I think got her hands on that. I can tell by her reaction with a block kill and a point for Randolph leading now two to one. Charisma Muth with another serve for the Rockets. Another hard low line driver, Young, it's in the back row. Dix will have to pop it up and it's gonna get bumped over by Bevers almost hitting the little just curtain up there. Then uh, that is uh, back of the line on a big swing by Riley Elvin. 
the back of the line and Randolph now opens up a 3-1 lead in the fifth set. Another serve for Charisma Muth. Little hard low line driver. Good pass over to Cameron. Here goes Dix in the middle, throws it to the back. Muth gets it. Taken over on the second hit but controlled by the cards. Right side attack by Fish off the block. Which he so effectively has done quite a few times in this match is tooling it off the block. Randolph up though by a score of three to two. Another Rockets fan out there, a Navy Bell 10-4 team. Let's go Jory, that's saved off the court by Jory Bowalda. Camera gets the pass on a quick set and uh, got a Randolph player in the net. That's Jory for three two. We are tied at three apiece. Abby Dix back to serve for the cards. Good push over to uh, Bowaldi. Here goes uh, Elvin. Controlled by Kammerer. Again over to Fish. Into the block and off her hands and out of bounds. Nice job putting the block up by Riley Elvin. Hopefully uh, her cousin Jolie, Jolie Moss, is listening right now from Beaver Dam with her wedding party going on right now. Little knuckleball action, and that's chased down by Cameron. Left side attack, just tapped over the block. And it's kept alive by Jory. It's going to get bumped over by Josie Spores. Cameron goes up with one hand, over pass, and that's going to be out of bounds. Good job by Macy Kolbeck. Hey, those plays are big, too. You let the ball go. You listen to your teammates. Good judgment on that. Randolph opens up a 5-3 lead. Randolph trying to get back to state for only the fourth time in program history. They did it back when... Uh, I'll mention her name again, Jolie Moss. Jolie Warwick back at that time was on the team. Back set right side over to Fish off the block, and again, it's a great job just kind of scraping it along the block and out of bounds wide. Nice swing there from Kirsten Fish. Got as many viewers as we got days in the year now. 365, nope, 371. Logging on and joining us here. Serve now from Bevers. Good pass by Fuller. Quick set over to Riley. Elvin is controlled by Bevers. Going to go left side over to Young. Cross court shot. And gets that one to go. We are tied at five apiece. Nobody wants to be done tonight. They want to be playing next Friday at 11.30 over at the Kohl Center in the state tournament. 5-5. Five, five. And another serve for Cadence Bevers. Little floater, uh, Fuller comes up, it's brought back on the court and popped over by Josie Spores, tight to the net, and left side by Young, popped up by Muth in the lights, and uh, Fuller gets to it, and Bewalda will put it back over. Another left side attack, this one by Young, and again, kept alive by Bewalda. It's kind of tight to the net, and Spores has nothing to do but just kind of hit into the hands of a waiting Kirsten Fish. Lead goes back in the hands now of the Cards, leading 6-5. Randolph for having trouble right now. Some good serving by the cards. Randolph needs a good pass right now. And see we get a good, they got some good to, good hitters up on the front right now. Again, another short serve. Gonna go far left side over to Spores, and that one is kept alive in the back row. Young will roll over the block, puts it back down, diving, uh, diving save attempt, and it is popped back over in the Randolph side. A quick set over to uh, Riley Elvin, and it popped over. And somebody's got to step in and a back row attack now by Muth and that's kept alive by Dix left side attack now by Young into the block and down Riley Elvin with a block and we are tied at six apiece 6-6 six, six here in set number five at New Glarus High School Randy Fuller in to serve now for the Rockets nice serve deep Camry gets chased to the back row. That's going to be tight to the net, waiting for it. And pointing it away is Lauren Gregor. Didn't overdo it. Sometimes you can overcook those and hit them out of bounds or hit your hand to the net. Calmly directed into the floor and a point for Randolph, now leading 7-6. Brandy Fuller back with a serve. Good pass this time to Camry. And a back set of right over to Fish. And it goes down to the block kill. Riley Elvin just destroys that swing by Fish and puts it back down for the Block Hill Randolph, leading eight to six. Randy Fuller continues to serve for the Randolph Rockets. 
Goes to the back corner. That's going to be a little overpass, and it goes into the net, then out of bounds, and not controlled by the Cardinals. And it's a point for the Rockets, leading now 9-6. to six. Randolph with a three-point lead. He only played a 15 in the fifth and decider. And we've got a timeout on the court back in 30 seconds. Randolph leading 9-6. to six. Now, let's keep it right here. We're going to keep it right here. Again, thanks to some of our sponsors out there getting their money's worth here tonight. Marshview Vet Clinic, Randolph Health Services, SIA Insurance, Dairyland Auto, Otters Inn, Randolph Family Dental, Roberts Brothers Painting, File Supper Club, Ergo Bank, Randolph Booster Club, A&B Fitness Concepts. You see Amber? Right down there. So uh, the owner of A&B, Ace in Building, Jeff Rutajic has been our longtime sponsor here of Randolph Sports. Coles Community Funeral Home, Wapan Equipment Company, Roberts Brothers Painting, Ballwick Implement. Not sure if I've read some of these before or not. New Medical Center, Home and Auto Sales, File Supper Club, I repeated a few, but That's again, okay. thanks for all of our sponsors for making our uh, presentation with the video streaming and the whole works with Jeff being here, me getting a chance to come. I probably would have came here anyway, even if we weren't doing it, to watch some great volleyball. 9-6, Randolph, timeout done now for the Cardinals. Fuller with the serve. That's popped up by Dix over to Cameron. Left side attack now by Young. Powers the pass, the double block, and a point for the Cards. 9-7 the lead. Randolph six points away from a trip to the state tournament, but a mile to go to get there. Jalen Hilliard back to serve now for the Cardinals. Hard low line driver, nice job by Muth. Gonna go left side over to Josie, spores! That goes off from Dick's arms and uh, pop back up, Cameron will take it over. Good pass again to Bawala, quick set over to Riley Elvin! And she'll put it down! Point number 10 for the Randolph Rockets, leading now 10 to seven. Wow, great volleyball by both teams. Dustin and Melinda Neiman love it, it said go Rockets. 10-7 Rockets. Riley with this or barely clearing the net. They're going to get the left side over to Young again. That's popped up on the rafter. It's a good job by Spores to step in. Fuller will bump it over. Camber goes left side again to Young on the line. Nice try there by Jory Bewald off her hands, but shoots into the crowd. Randolph hanging on to a two-point lead, 10-8 to eight in this fifth set. Back to serve now for the Cardinals is Addie Yates. Yates serve is fielded by Spores. The wall the left side over to Moth pounds it down the line off the hands of Jalen Hilliard and out of bounds. A point for the Rockets, leading now 11 to 8. Spores again with another serve for the Lady Rockets. 11 8 Randolph here in this fifth and decider. Good serve by Spores, high off the arms of Young and Dixel at the flat foot shot, it does not go over. Tough shot when you're off the court on that left side by Dix. Goes out of bounds and a point for Randolph now leading 12 to eight. Got another sub coming in with the Alley Doll coming in and uh, sitting down will be uh, Addy Yates. So Alley for Addy. And another serve for Josie Spores. Spores serves on that middle back. Uh, kind of flips to that sideline. That's tight to the net. The block is up, kept alive by... Oh, then it gets uh, taken over by Bowalda. And there's a uh, set to uh, Dix, and she will take it down. To get a point for the cards, Randolph leading 12-9. to nine. Back to serve for the Cardinals is McKenna Young. Randolph three points away from the state tournament. Oh, that could have been close. Baird pops it up over to Bowalda. Tight to the net over to Muth. And that's uh, not going to be off the trying to look for a touch on that one. No call. Out of bounds wide left. Cardinals get another point. They're back within two. 12-10 the lead now for Randolph. Three points away from a trip to state. Young with the serve. Good pass over to Bowalda. Left side attack now again uh, by... That's out of bounds. And that is on the line, they say. Moot said, everybody uh, go away, and there's going to be a timeout taken, but back with a point are the cards. 
and a controversial call by the line judge. And now Randolph hanging on to a one point lead, 12 to 11. A game of inches and centimeters and whatever. But Randolph is still with that lead, but they gotta get control of this next serve and get a good pass. Uh, last couple sets were a little bit off, a little far, a little close to the net, a little far left for Muth over on that left side. So hopefully uh, everybody will settle down just a little bit for the Randolph Rockets after that time up by Jeff Kolbeck. Randolph walks back out of the court still with that one point lead. They're not behind, they're ahead now, 12 to 11. Let's see if they can buckle down here. And get these last three points. Wow, what a match here tonight at New Glarus. And a very gracious host too. We thank them for what they've done. Kenny Heffley says, you go Rockets. Into the net, a service error. And Randolph opens up a two point lead. That's happened the last two timeouts as they had a service error right after the timeout and again paid off for the Rockets. Duckett will check out. Macy Colbeck comes back in. Muth still in the front row yet for Randolph and back to serve is Lauren Grieger. Randolph up 13 to 11. Grieger serve. Good pass over to Kammerer. Going to go to Dix and pounds it past the double block. And they do that so well. With Kammerer just kind of leading that ball going toward the net just above the net and Abby Dix goes down and just spanks it down. Back to a one point lead for Randolph and Alexis Kammerer back to serve for the cards. That's pushed up by Fuller. Right side attack by Muth down the line. That is in. Randolph with point number 14. Leading now 14 to 12. Sectional championship point now for the Rockets. And a timeout taken by the Cardinals. Wow. Wow. 14 to 12. Sitting by some of the parents for Randolph. Not an easy time to be a parent right now. They're agonizing. Uh, these poor girls that are out there battling and giving it their all from both teams on the court. There's not one player from either one of these teams that will leave this court with a regret of anything they did tonight. They both gave their all from both teams tonight. Yeah, we know what you meant there, Penny. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in here tonight. 14-12 Randolph. Again, a timeout taken by the Cards. Trying to stop Randolph's momentum. They're one point away from the state tournament of 14 to 12. They're trying to get some uh, post-game interviews, but I don't know if everybody's going to be rushing for their car to get back to the wedding in Beaverdam right now, or what's going to happen with that uh, wedding in Beaverdam and a couple of uh, Jolie Moss's cousins on the floor right now for the Rockets. Here we go. Charisma Muth serving. Sectional championship point for the Lady Rockets. Charisma serve, just barely clears the net. That's tight to the net. Camera kind of brings it back. That's pushed. Fuller keeps it alive. Back row attack by Muth into the net. No, into the block and on the floor on the card side. And Randolph is going to the state tournament for only the fourth time in school history. Muth putting it right into the block. It drops over on the Cardinal side of the net. And Randolph wins 15 to 12. And they win here at New Glarus High School. I'm hoping to get some reaction on the floor, but they're gonna, I know they're gonna be handing out the sectional plaque after this. So I'm gonna grab the mic, but what a match, what a match. I'm out of breath here, like I was on the court two playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that was, uh, that was a great match. Two very evenly matched teams and Randolph wins in uh, five sets. 25-16, they lose the first set. 25-17, they win the second set. Then they go down two sets to one, losing the uh, third set, giving up those last four points and losing 25-22. Then it was 25-18 in that fourth set that Randolph uh, took control and won, even gave up a few points toward the end to get the momentum back in the hands of Broadhead. But then Randolph comes up with a 15-12 victory and they win three sets to two, and they are going to the state tournament. We're going to take a break. i got to see if I can get down there and maybe get some interviews. We'll see with some of the girls going to be bolting out here. But I know they're going to give them their sectional plaque, possibly, now, and uh, we'll see. So I'm going to go down there, Jeff, and talk to you in a few minutes. 
Welcome to TerraMax. Create the ideal seed bed with a high quality finish, level soils and remove ruts, and eliminate resistant weeds, all with one innovative tool from Great Plains. The TerraMax is a versatile hybrid tillage solution offering variable intensity tillage for a variety of field conditions. Learn more about hybrid tillage and the new TerraMax at www.greatplainsag.com or by visiting Wapan Equipment Company, your local Great Plains dealer. This is TerraMax Territory. Wapan Equipment Company. Excellence in dentistry meets exceptional service. It's Dentistry of Wisconsin and Wapan and Beaverdam. From routine cleanings, checkups, and maintenance to Can you see me, Jeff? Okay, they're handing out the medals right now for the team that fought their uh, hearts out out there with the Cardinals. But just a better performance at the end for the Randolph Rockets to win this. I'm down on the floor right now as the uh, Cardinals are getting their medals. Hopefully we'll be able to get some uh, post-game interviews. Some of the people are probably going to bolt out of here to get back to the wedding. But uh, nothing to be ashamed of for either team here tonight. They battled hard, both teams. I had to say I'm going to be over uh, at Green Bay at the Rush Center coming up next week to uh, call the game for the Randolph Lady Rockets making their fourth appearance at the state tournament coming up next week. Friday at 11.30 in the morning, and we'll have that for you on the source. And we want to have this on camera, too. Uh, Jeff's going to show as the uh, Randolph Lady Rockets get their individual medals and, of course, the uh, sectional plaque that you get. Number 17, Abby Dix. Boy, there's a great player right there, Abby Dix. Dominating player. Had a great match and a great career over at Broadhead. And her days of playing at Broadhead and being a Cardinal are over. But what a, what a nice player for them. Yeah, losing some main uh, seniors over there with Alexis Cameron to the coach's daughter. Here's Setter, a uh, very you know, top-notch setter. McKenna Young, a senior, graduating for them. And uh, Cadence Bevers. Also a senior. So the uh, Randolph Rockets now will be uh, handing, getting their medals. Eventually their sectional championship plaque. We'll now recognize the Randolph Rockets team here, the sectional championship team that advances the state. The state the We're going to keep the camera right on the girls out here as they're getting their medals and the reaction from the crowd out here. Thanks for being with us tonight and sticking around with us. Brandy, what a great tournament she's had, popping all those balls up to the front. Savannah Duckett, another important player that uh, can come out any time on the court for you and give you some uh, great moments on the court. Josie Spore is getting her medal right now. What a great player she is. Hitting with confidence, it's just 5'9". But uh, also uh, out in there, Carly Baird, a great back row player, getting her medal. Macy Kolbeck with some huge moments in the match here tonight. Giving her dad a hug, getting her medal. Lauren Grigger, uh, boy, she's a great passer, uh, better than most people would give her credit for. A great server and had some great moments at the net during the, these uh, tournament games that we covered. Riley Alvin. There's a girl who's going to be playing at the next level, but she's a beast up front. Charisma Muth, what a great tournament she's got going. Unbelievable player behind the 10-foot line. And Jory Bawalda, Conference Player of the Year. Could easily get a D1 scholarship somewhere, but she's a basketball girl going to UW-Milwaukee. Getting her medal right now. So they've all got their medals. They've busted their butts out here tonight. 
and getting their sectional plaque right now. Here they go. <laughs> and a great student section that's been with them, celebrating them right now at uh, midcourt, right in front of the scorer's table, getting that sectional plaque to put on the wall along with many other plaques from so many other sports. Think I'll be able to get some after? What's that? Oh, can okay, we talk to you real quick? Sure, if you want to. Yeah, here's, I don't know if you can get us over here, Jeff. We'll get out, we'll get out here a little bit. Got Jeff Kolbeck is going to join us right now, and uh, there's Jeff up there, sour, but boy, what's, what's your emotions right now? What's your feelings right now of going to state for only the fourth time in school history? It's a special group of girls. It's, it's hard to explain. These girls grew up at my house, and best friends of Macy, and I've seen them since they were little girls, and just to have, let them experience this, is, I'm just so happy for them. They're just a great bunch of kids. What a battle. I mean, you couldn't ask for any more drama than going to a fifth and decider against a very good Cardinals team here tonight. Yeah, I, that fifth set, I wanted to match up as if we were receiving, so I changed my lineup back two spots. Um, it seems like whenever we received, we had a nice matchup, especially with Charisma serving and hitting. So we, we switched it back to it just a hunch to do it, and... Uh, Lauren was a little freaked out about having to serve first, but it worked out. And, uh, you know, big time players step up, and now our big time players stepped up tonight. Well, I can't wait. The rest center, seeing Randolph yeah. out there on the floor, and we'll be there for you for that. Uh, what went right for you guys here tonight? Looked like you guys, like a total team effort. Everybody battling out there, not letting balls hit the floor. And it really had a battle against a good team and starting out a little slow here tonight. But, man, I just thought a really nice team effort tonight. Yeah, I, you know, I think the main differences of that first set, it was kind of a learning experience on what they were going to do to us and um, it, covering their tips. And when you did get a big block up on their big hitters, what were they going to do with the ball? And after that first set, our back row started reading stuff more. We saw we had a mismatch with Charisma. They, they typically didn't have somebody big enough to block her, so we were just feeding her the ball. And then when she went off in the back row, that just kind of set the game apart there. She hits so confidently from the back row. I was just uh, impressed by uh, how she looks back there and gets so many points. Hard to block a back row, a good back row hitter, and she's very effective from back there. She's uh, deadly anywhere on the court. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can't double block her from the back row, so, and she hits around the middle really well, and like you said, with power and confidence. And um, we, we went to her a little too much in the middle of the game in the back row, and we had to use our other girls, but um, once we figured that out, it was, just, it was just huge. We just were able to play then. Well, Jeff, congratulations. What a match. These people were entertained. We had like almost 400 uh, computers logged on, and a lot of people at the wedding, I'm pretty sure, that were yeah. uh, watching too. So uh, congratulations, and good luck. We'll be there for you on Friday. All right, thank you. Okay. You some other girls? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can dig some other people out here. Oh, we're going to try to get in the middle of this mess. Hey, Brandy. 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 Look up there. Brandy, what, what's it feel like going to the state tournament? What's going through your mind right now? Um, right now, everything's just all over the place, but I'm like super excited to keep going on, and I think we have a really solid team this year, and I'm so excited to go with all of them. I can see by the tears in your eyes I mean, how much it means to you. You put a lot of work into this. You had a great uh, couple of uh, matches that we got to call for you, and it's going to be like walking to that. Uh, you've probably been there to watch matches uh, numerous times, to actually walk into the rush center and play. Yeah, um, I feel like it's going to be a real eye-opening when we go in there and see and see how good we actually are and how good we can compete against all of them. Well, enjoy this with your uh, teammates, and uh, congratulations, and we'll see you next Friday. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Charisma. Charisma. <laughs> up there. Uh, Charisma Muth, why, what a couple, great couple of days that you've had, and what, what does it mean to you to get to the, the state tournament? Um, well, we've been working for this, like, for a long time and it feels relieving to finally like reach our goal and it like these girls mean the world to me and I'm so glad I have them with me. Uh, you just had an unbelievable tournament uh, so effective from behind that 10 foot line uh, you, you, you really are swinging with confidence back there that's something obviously you've done a few times in the past but uh, the, the, what uh, what was it like to go against that, that big team you played here today and it was a nice battle. Yeah we were like scouting them already and we saw that with the rotation I was going to be in the front row I was going to have a shorter block on me so we were going to get me the ball as much as we could possibly do and obviously Jory did that and I basically put it away every time. <laughs> well you're going to celebrate tonight with the, with the team we got a special bunch of girls. In the hot tub. Yeah. In the hot, tub. <laughs> hot tub party okay but right, Charisma again congratulations what a tournament you had. Thank you. Okay Charisma Booth.
uh, joining us. We'll see if we can get any more. Uh, Riley. <laughs> Hate to pull you away from all your friends. I know you got to race back over to uh, Beaver Dam yet, but uh, Jeff's up there with the camera. And, uh, <laughs> Hi, Jeff. <laughs> But Riley, just talking about this match, what a team you had to play tonight, what a match. What did that feel like to be part of that? Oh, it was an amazing match. Um, they really, they brought, they, it was a dog fight. Um, back and forth, just constant. Um, I feel like we did, we did a very well responding to it, and they did. It was a really good game. One of our best games that I've even played in my whole career, you know? Well, they got quality hitters with Abby Dixon, another uh, quality middle hitter up there and you guys really had a nice battle at the net today oh yeah she's a she's an amazing hitter you know i was told she plays a lot like me that's what i was told and so it, it is kind of hard to read your own um player but yeah it's it was she was a good player and let's talk about what it means to you to get to the state tournament it means a lot you know just even last year being out and getting so close it it really i face adversity and this just makes my path easier it's it's it means the world to me well I'll let you go celebrate with the team and i'll thank see you at the wedding after yeah. thank you thank you <laughs> Okay, Riley Alvin uh, joining us, and I don't know if Jory's still around. Is Jory still around yet? yet. Uh, she might be uh, trying to get her dress on uh, for the, the wedding coming up. Steve. But, Steve. Uh, let's see. Back you there. see Jory? Back there. Oh. Okay. Jory, quick interview before they take your picture. He's up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Yep, that's right. right but, right. but uh, Jory, uh, congratulations going to the state tournament. What does this mean to you? You know, it means a lot because, like, doing it for basketball and stuff and just, like, the memories with the team, that's really something that's special. So it feels really good. What do you think about your team? I mean, it was a total team effort against a very good broadhead team. I think our energy was up and down, but we knew we had to do it at the end, and we knew it was, okay, it's 15. We can't start off slow, and then we did that. Well, congratulations. What a, what a great uh, match. I can't wait to see it state next week. I'll be there to cover that, too. But uh, going to the big house and play at the rest center, that'll be fun. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we'll see you at the wedding. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Everybody getting uh, their picture taken right now, so I should let them do that. But, again, thanks for joining us uh, here tonight, Jeff. Saw our uh, video streaming. Always doing a great job with that. And uh, enjoyed really covering this special bunch of girls here for Randolph uh, with bigger things in mind. Uh, Maybe bringing home another gold ball, a volleyball, back to Randolph. This shot, the gold ball they got last year for basketball. But, again, thanks for joining us. Uh, the, the 400 computers that were logged on and uh, having a little fun. Uh, we uh, loved having the Cardinal fans on there, too. And everybody got to witness a really nice volleyball match. Randolph winning in five, the decider, 15-12. to 12. And moving on to the state tournament, I will be there. 11.30 coming up on... Uh, Friday morning and hopefully again 11.30 on Saturday up at the Rest Center in Green Bay. Have yourself an excellent night. Time to hop in the car and go to Jolie Moss's wedding party over in Beaverdam. Have an excellent weekend. HolemanAuto.com. Check out our selection of 400 new.
and used vehicles. HomeandAuto.com. Every vehicle from all four of our locations in one convenient place. Find your perfect car without leaving home at HomeandAuto.com. New vehicles from Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevrolet, Buick, and Ford. Pre-owned from $39.82 and certified pre-owned. Plus the warranties and hometown service you can depend on. Make the home and family your first stop at HomeandAuto.com. We make you feel at home at Homeand. Welcome to Terra Max Territory.